Oh. I gotta tell you, it feels real good to like give the the bracket running part of it away. Let someone else handle that. I can sit on commentary. I can enjoy the game. I can stop sweating so fucking much. Yeah, let's take it easy. Just <laughs> relax. Good <laughs> evening, everybody. Thank you to uh, whatever god might be out there. Uh, Gargos, <laughs> Idol, Idol whoever. whoever you praise these days. For, for letting this stream happen. For me finding Combat Network while they were in setup and saying, hey, can you guys stream KI for us? We're not on the schedule and neither are you. And they said, yeah, sure. Well, last year we didn't get a stream at all. No, we and, didn't. Uh, like we Combat had some Network really good matches last year that I, I wish know, were streamed. I know. Combat Network was booked up last year. They they had like Pokin and Arms and, and a bunch of other stuff on their stream. So they couldn't have us. Uh, but this year, I guess the only thing that E wanted them to do was like money matches and just sit here and wait for people to have a grudge match. Correct. And it's like, okay, instead of doing that, can we put like the NRS games and KI that didn't get streams on the stream? Do we know whatever happened to the money match thing that was supposed to happen? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> That's an excellent question. That would have been that would have been fun. That could have gave Ki Ki some more uh, spotlight. You know, we could have got I more know, so some uh, money matches. We're uh, Apex and I talked about putting a salty sweet in his room later. A saucy sweet. Saucy sweet, whichever. Uh, the good old days. You're a real OG if you remember Ki saucy sweets. <laughs> I, I remember watching. I couldn't be there. Oh man, I couldn't missed, be there for even You missed out on good times. I know. Shout out to Shin Tristan. <coughs> Shout out to I the watched, sauce. I watched the live stream because that's where they did like the whole idol rundown. In 2016, right, right, that was amazing. I remember just Good times, like, man. Just like every time they showed anything, they, the crowd would just be shouting, "That's busted! That's <laughs> stupid!" <laughs> really good times. And they so were we, right. Uh, they were absolutely right. <laughs> Idol was stupid on launch, and now he's still stupid. That happened with a lot of characters in the game, though. Yeah. First, thing, you know, TJ when he came out, yeah. Maya when she came out. It kind of happened Riptor, with almost everybody. Riptor had uh, uh, infinite block string. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And we're looking at one of those characters now, Gargos. Gargos. <laughs> Maybe the most nerfed Gargos. character in the entire history of the game. <sighs> yeah, I mean, like, everything he did, he had, like, four different hard knockdowns, and he would get to summon minions off of that, and we would get to do... Did he ever get buffed? I don't think he ever got buffed once. Mm. <laughs> Not that he ever needed he it. He got... I think he got, like, a minor frame... Like, framed out a buff here and there. But other than that, no, it was mostly nerfs. Gargo Spinal, interesting matchup Gargo here. Spinal. We've seen it plenty of times. A lot. I'm curious if they're going to go into it here. And it looks like it. Here we go. I've heard from uh, sources, several Spinal players, saying that uh, he actually doesn't do too bad against Gargo. So I, I wouldn't think so. You know, as soon as I mean, it's it's a matter of momentum for Spinal in almost every matchup. Of course. But like once he gets skulls, it really does screw with Gargos' ability to do what he wants to do. Right. More than any other Good character. Overhead there catches him. Gonna get the corner again. Yep. Set up. Get the hard. Doesn't block down. the overhead at all. Was waiting for <coughs> something else. I don't know what, but it's a tough situation. Block the cross up yeah, overhead okay. and put it right back in the corner. Put him right back in the corner. Get another one. Doesn't block it at all. No. No. He's got both curses on him. Ooh, that was a good okay. roundhouse. Yep. Jump over. Ooh. Oh. Too much hit stun. Didn't yep. get the grab. Can't get the grab out. Oh, punish with the shadow skull and a break on the medium. <coughs> Backing up off that, off that psychic pressure. Oh, that was a bad choice of an anti here. There, he should have just, yeah. uh, he should have just roundhouse that instead of going or for like a crotch heavy punch. Medium, trying to get, trying medium to get reckoning maybe. Get that big old. Ooh, good bait and punish. Complete. And he's dead here. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Spinal's damage under is nuts. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say it's underrated. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was really fast. I wasn't <laughs> looking was at the clock, but uh, <laughs> that uh, that went really fast. So blink and you miss it, folks. Base works fast. Yeah, yeah. Usually, when he can. Um, Gargos, uh, he's he's got to establish some uh, space control here because he's like trying to rush down Spinal. I guess that's good for what Spinal's tool set is. But if Gargos really wants to get his shenanigans going, I think he needs to start claiming his space a little better. But he's got some good pressure going now here. Got him in the corner. That's the mix-up. Oh, blocks the mix-up and a nice punish from Base. Get them skulls. Makes up opportunity again. Good blocks. Those were beautiful. Every time, every time you juggle, every time base juggles, he gets that knockdown. He yep. throws a he throws a heavy skull. Right. It's nice. that it's that instant overhead pressure. You have to guess high low. Right. Right. Jackal's challenging at the wrong spots here. This is not it's not a good look because he's he's got to figure it out. That was a good punish. He sat patient there, waited waited for base to drop the uh, power devour. Right. It was smart of him to not wake up with like reckoning. 
try to get in. Good conversion. Oh, that's like, oh that was that a bad did not hit. Though. Okay, he's okay. going to teleport. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you called it. Run down the instinct. Mm. But it was completely. a good punish. Jackal didn't know it, so. Put him on. Ooh. This yeah, the that's the weird thing about Gargos that I've noticed is that uh, anyone who wall splats him, it creates a way bigger gap than it does with other characters. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, like, you really can't get in and grab unless you're certain characters. Right, nice cross up overhead skull. Heavy to light. <coughs> Jackal's just getting mixed here. There's nothing. It's not good. Oh, he got a reset off of that. Wasn't even a combo. Yeah. I don't know if you nice That's gonna even wanted that, that or not. That but. is gonna get the juggle and the cash out. So that that game lasted a little longer than the first one, but a little bit. Same uh same result, either way. And we are doing three out of five here. Uh, Which I think might be an NEC first. I, you know, I've been coming to this tournament for maybe five years I thought now. We did three out of five in uh, uh, seventeen. Last year it was two out of three. No, I, seventeen was definitely um, was? was definitely two out of three. Yeah. Man. I mean, we have fifteen people here. We have two hours. Oh my God! Power of hours, they're heavy. The if uh, the games are gonna go this fast, then three games might not seem that much. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> wow! Big lockout. Gonna get the skulls. Oh, you no. know why? You know why you can't see the timers? Because the NEC logo is just is right in the way. It's right on yeah. top of it. The timer, I mean, how often does the timer actually matter in a KI game anyway? We, we, we had, what, two timeouts at Combo Breaker? Yeah. I mean, which is probably the most in, like, tournament history. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> so. Oh, nice overhead. Base breaking. Okay. Not much Backs of a breaker. Just sitting mid-screen. Whoever makes a mistake first. Making up a little ground. There's a minion. Drops the minion. Is this the first minion of the set? This is the first minion of the set. He didn't wow. drop on either of the other two games. I just didn't think he had the opportunity, you know? Yeah. Interesting that he got thrown out of that when he landed. Damn, just gets Whatever hit by the raw, raw slide. Yep. Is this slide going to work here? Yeah, because he got the armor. Uh, he should have just bursted. He's going to burst now. I mean, he could have gone for Heavy Reckoning. Just gone for the teleport for the invulnerability. But oh, these frames. I Smile. feel like... Oof. This yeah, when, you, when you got when you got the bouncy skulls inside your body, right? Uh, it's really rough. Yep. First out, don't take that raw damage. No, no, that would that would have hurt. <coughs> that would have been very close to death. Had that, Since had those that aren't point. combos, you, the the damage of the future hits of a shadow don't scale. So you get the raw damage of each hit, and it right. ends up being a lot. That's a punish. Yeah, and that's always death. a punish. You can't. Whenever you bounce off like that, you really can't do medium reckoning again. No, no, it's not a it's not a good look unless you have like, like every the read character has a way to punish that. You think that's gonna work? Yeah. So. Every every character has a way to punish that. Right. So that was a quick 3-0. Yeah. Jackal, I don't think he's playing this game very much these days, man. I think he's uh he's a Fexel. He's a Fexel really? guy. I think he's been. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen a I few. Seen him win, I've seen uh, a few clips. He won like CEO Taku, I think. He's been yeah. doing good in other, ga other games, which is mm -hmm. good. I'm glad KI players are uh, you know branching out and playing other fighting yeah, games. Yeah, I mean, you know, you you flourished in NRS games and a little bit here and there, yeah. yeah. How but, you been uh, doing in Tekken? Uh, I didn't play today. I didn't feel no. like playing, but okay. I, I like the game a lot. Um, it's a really good game, and uh, I'm really interested to you know find other fighting games that are going to be you know coming out yep. and play those as well. So it's like you know KI players can play any games they want, man. Yeah, We're good. I'm letting Ors borrow my. Uh, my pad because he only has a PS4 stick. Oh, all so right. He's nice. playing Pair of Misery on stream now. Is is John Thunder here? He's my opponent, and he's like, has he shown up? I, I've been calling his name all, all the Cool. You and me both get buys. <laughs> Let's go. Do you want me to start <laughs> If you want to, uh, it's your call. You're the one running it. I'm gonna put him in losers. Fair enough. Put him in losers. Oh man. Four hours of sleep last night. I am on fumes for sure. Hey man, thank you for putting in the work that you put in for this game, man. Dude, Every time we come was, here, you're the you're the life of the party. It was like a stroke of luck getting this uh, sorted out the way it did. I had no idea Combat Network was going to be here. They're not on the stream schedule, so when I saw right. them, I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> <laughs> I have to play. It's the good base. reaction. Dude, every time, every time I come to NEC, all this is the third time in a row I've had to play base like round two. Hey, man, run it back. <laughs> All you can do is get better. Part of me regrets not doing, like, a rough set with him. Uh, but I'm just, I got anxiety problems. <laughs> I don't like asking, I understand that, I don't like asking people for sets. I understand that 100%, man. Sitting down and, you know, 
being around all these players that are you know, watching you play, it, it can be very intimidating. But you yeah. have to you have to stay composed. Yeah, I know. Um, I'll probably go and play them off stream at some point. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that we were able to make this happen. Yeah, me too. Because like I had I had a contingency plan. I had a capture card here. I have a, a Aver Media portable, which can record to an SD card without even having a computer on it. Right. It's really nice. Kind of like last year, you were going to record the matches, right? Yeah, and then my <coughs> capture card just decided to screw me over. But I tested the one that I have now before bringing it here, and that one definitely worked. But then it turns out, you know, we got a whole stream. We don't need it. Right. So we got Paramisery and Ores. Ores, uh, fun fact, is from Singapore. Um, we have international KI players here at NEC, folks. Yep. Here's, here's a treat. Um, our, our good friend Storm179 has been living in Singapore for a while. Storm179. He's, he's been fostering their KI scene. Um, and Ores is probably one of the finer players there. Awesome. So I'm glad he was able to make it out here even if Storm couldn't. Whoa! <laughs> I, I don't think I've even done a DP that crazy. No punish on the whiff heavy punch. Yeah. So this matchup here, uh, you know, being a full gore player, of course, uh, I would say it's pretty highly in full gore's favor just mm -hmm. because of medium laser alone. Tuck yeah. really doesn't have an answer for that. You can't run through it. You can't slide through it or anything like that. Medium can't, laser. You can't run through it. He's very vulnerable. No, no, he oh. cannot go through uh, medium laser because huh. it's a low. Oh, I thought. I if he does the, if he, maybe if he does the meter burn version, but I mean, every time I've ever done it to a tusk, it's like... I thought meterless run... Oh, that raw overhead. He could have pressed anything he wanted there. I thought meterless run was projectile vulnerable. I might be wrong. I don't think he can go through the uh, medium teleport. Wow. I've never seen it. Or just, not teleport, just, the laser. Excuse me. Wow, uh, challenge right, yeah. the tusk DP with, the, with his own DP. This you are not nuts. you're not beating a reflect DP with uh, no with the not with Fulgore no. no this isn't the range Fulgore wants to be in against Tufts. he wants to get the hell away from him right he wants to be at so about yeah. mid screen stay there throw some fireballs yeah wait for him to jump uppercut the sword go into ultra nice good start from Paramisery he got he was playing a little shaky mm -hmm. getting a little get mm -hmm. a little wild with his uppercuts but I mean that's me talking right yeah um, I think we might see a character switch from Ores I know Tusk isn't his only character okay but I forget who else he plays. <coughs> Yep. And I'm interested to see who else he'll use. Um, you know, Fulgore's obviously one of those characters. It's pretty hard to counter. He is. Uh, unless you play, like, one of those quirky matchups, like I'd say Kim <coughs> Wu would do if you decently. Can, if, like, anybody who can stop him from gaining meter, who can just keep him on, yep. keep the pressure on him. Yep. Spinal, keep him, of course, down. another yep. one of those matchups. Just, yep. the, just the weird ones, the quirky ones that he has some yep. weird, weird problems with Ful uh, Fulgore versus Omen, I would say, is another one because he locks him out of his meter. Speak of the devil, you say Kim Woo, we get Kim Woo. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> this is a good choice, in my opinion. I think he uh, he does well. And we got another close. Kim Woo player in the bracket today. Mr. Sonic Dolphin himself, the yes, legend. Indeed. He is in here. He is. He's playing Smash right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's been playing a lot of Smash, and again, you know, okay, I played a lot of other games. I it's saw awesome. that he was playing Latalis round one, and I was like, I really want that match. And then he came up to me and said, I gotta play Smash. And I said, oh, oh okay. my god! <laughs> yeah, I, wa I want to see that myself because that's a that's an interesting matchup, right? Because Kim versus Agnos, a lot of or people Kim say. Or Kim versus Rom. It's I don't, I don't, I don't see Latalis going Rom, even mm. though I think Rom does well too. Yeah. I think Agnos and Kim is one of the worst matchups in the game. Really? Yes. For. For who? For Kim. It's really? a bad matchup for Kim because she okay. has not a lot of options for Agonos' armor and uh, she loses the footsie battle too. Mm. Wow, good uppercut. Okay. Okay, so Chill what, uh, what Paramisery was going to want to do out. here is honestly play as honest as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, if he gets the hard knockdown off the Firewall Ender, don't go for a mix up because she's got that parry ready to go. Right. Zero yeah, frames. Right. So just I didn't, uh, I didn't think about that. stay back and. Um, if you're going to throw a meaty fireball, be ready with a heavy laser at the other side of the screen because if she's in your face, that parry is not going uh, to be too nice to you. Don't Locks go in close. Okay. All right, well, the throw is a better option because you can't parry the throw, right? Yeah. Okay. But just right there. I got parried again. Didn't go for a trip guard. Could have punished that jump in. Jump back roundhouse. Wow. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. Yeah, that's oh, the one he no. was trying to go for. But since the cross-up hit him, he, he, to, juggle. Uh, he got the wrong input. Oh, this is going to be big damage right here. It's ouch. It's a chunk. Forty-five. Yep. No meter. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, <coughs> the nunchuck spin will trade with all of Full Wars wake ups. Season three saw us get a lot of good really, patience. Really high burst damage characters. We got Tusk. We got Kim. Uh, man, Idol. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, Mira. I, Mira for sure. The biggest, the biggest damage. One. The biggest damage. Good of the break. Game. His last chance. 
Okay. He's gonna get chipped. Teleports away with a oh, no. kick. Don't stand there. Oh wow! Uh, tries to grab punch. on wake up. He's got all this damage ready to go. He's got. Can he make this happen? He's got a spin. He's got. <laughs> oh no! He didn't teleport. Mix he didn't up. check the teleport. He's still got instinct. He came in close. He didn't parry it. Oh my it. goodness! No way! Oh man! Did that just happen? That just happened. He let him get away with murder. Absolute murder. Oh my <coughs> God, Orez, please. Mm. That was a crazy comeback by Paramisery. Mm -hmm. That didn't need to happen either. And he was going crazy. He could have he could have parried all that. And he jumped. De Total challenge with a DP. This is insane right now what I'm seeing here from this uh, Fulgore player here. Wow, went for sweep on his wake up. Completely disregarding the wake up parry option. Which tries to get a reset? Maybe a dropped input? Yeah, yeah, that's why that's so... that fireball out. He's starting to realize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. DP's off negative too? Yep. The scumbag tactic in all fighting games? Absolute scumbag tactic. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> every time DP. I fall for that, yeah. I, I just punch myself. It's like, dude, don't don't let him get away with it. Hey, man. It's like... If it it's, works. <laughs> it's full gores and Jagos that like... Yeah. percent of the time when you're playing them online, they will go for that. Light cyber dash, light wind kick. Yeah, yep. Absolutely. Hate it. Love it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> nice. Gets clipped by the overhead. This is going to be big damage on the lockout. <coughs> yes. Level three. Boom. Yes. 50? 48. 48. Close enough. Instant just, light auto break. That's oh one of my favorite God. things, just watching the chunk of health disappear whenever she uses a shadow dragon kick. Yeah. She she kills so fast. It's ridiculous. Yep. She kills, like, way too fast. But, you know, it's one of the characters, one of her tools is her, is her damage, just like Mira. Nice anti here. Yeah, it's well done. Pulls him out. Uh, is he gonna close be, to death? Does he get the bar? Nope. No. If he had the bar, he would have been If he had the bar, it would have been a shadow DP. It would have been yep. over. This is still, I mean, hard, but winnable. No, never mind. No, not from that range. It's not. Heavy laser does a lot of chip. Quite a bit of chip, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think she has a tough time parrying it, too, because it's like a special timing to it. Yeah, it's, it's... Sometimes they do it too early. Like, it's hard to react to, I think. Right. By the time you realize he's doing it, you're already blocking it. Yeah, yeah. So that was 3-0. <sighs> All right, nice. what do we got up next? Hopefully Sonic Dolphins come back so we can get a matchup. With I know, man, I, w I want to see that matchup so bad. Because I think either way, because Sonic Dolphin uses Arbiter too, right? And oh, I, w yeah. I was actually talking to him about this. That could be. And he said Letalis, you know, plays Ram and, and Agonos. Mm -hmm. And both of those characters beat Kim and Arbiter respectively. So I'm curious to see what he's going to do. Big Does he have another character? That, yeah. I've never seen him use anybody else besides Kim and Ar uh, Arbiter. Oh, man. Not on stream. <laughs> no, sir. We need a stream. Uh, oh, is man. Sonic Dolphin back? Has he come back up yet? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no. Stream. Oh, you guys are done. You guys played? Who won? He won? I really wanted to see that. All match. right. What was the score? 3 1. Letalis takes it over Sonic Dolphin 3 1, guys. Uh, you guys updated with the stream. Does Nikki have a match? Can we put him up there? Oh. Three other games right now. Yeah, he just and he was just on. Okay. Uh, yeah. What uh, else? I could do Lunar Sage versus Zenkai. Okay. So is there nothing available then? That's not good. Oh man. <laughs> all right, I'll do it for the people. Do it for the people, do it for the people. This is your job. This I is love what you're you all. To do. All right. So Ovis is gonna. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna pay his dues. <laughs> no, he, he he's got um, he's done a lot for this community, man. Ovis on the, on the East Coast, he has really helped us out a lot as far as uh the KI scene. So we're gonna. What are you doing wearing a mask? Hey man, hello, hi. So we got Jackal on the mic, and he thinks he's cute wearing a mask. I, uh, it's actually pretty. Who thank the you hell very much. wears a mask? I am a very beautiful young man. Thank you very much. That is not getting older. I am actually getting younger, if you can believe it. With every year that passes, I, I gain new insight and less aging. That's the that's the story I'm going with. Yeah. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. Don't ever say that again. 
I'll, I'm sticking to it. It's too late now. It's in the air. It's over. Don't ever yeah. say that again. <laughs> um, so, all right. We, we, we got base versus Ovis. Uh, Ripter and Spinal. Now, I've seen this matchup a lot, and I feel like Ripter would bully Spinal a little bit, kind of like Wolf. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I feel like there's some tools that Spinal has to work with that can deal with Ripter a little better than Wolf. So I, I believe in Ovis. I think he's he's competent enough, and I think he um, I think he knows kind of what base wants to do as Spinal. So I think I think he can get the job done. Yeah. But he's gotta he's gotta play he's gotta play right and he's gotta play the matchup right. He's definitely came up over the years. Yeah, like he's Without definitely a doubt. improved his play. Without Arbiter, a doubt. Uh, combo breaker actually uh, playing him and uh, definitely a huge difference. When we yeah. played uh, our set, the first set, I ended up winning, but then he ended up actually getting me back in losers, and the way that he played right. was just completely different. So. Yeah, he adapts. He understands what he does wrong when he does do wrong, and he, he knows what he has to do to win, too. So mm -hmm. he's definitely come up over the years. Big shouts out to uh, Ovis for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, uh, base. Yeah, Is man. he retired? Is he not? We don't know, but he's here. <laughs> yeah, he he's ready to out go 3-0 pretty quickly, so he's 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 on fire right now. He's yeah. A little warmed up. Oh, he's got some setups though. That was open render though. Yeah. Nice meaty. Another overhead. Uh, get the pressure started, and we're already in the corner, folks. Where Spinal wants to be. Ripter's not one of those cool characters that has like a funky teleport or a meterless reversal or anything like that. So, but gets right out with the throw. Oh, that was a beautiful bait. All right, getting some nice pressure here. Going Lost frames. Spot. Not taking his turn, though. He's got to find an opening here. Nice ah, that wasn't really out. worth it. He should have uh, kept some pressure going and saved the meter. But he gets the meaty to crouch and light punch. Yeah. To settle the score. Oh, we still right. have an instinct here, so he's still having access to those instinct tools from Victor. Yes. Okay, that's safe. Nice. nice with the headbutt. Oh, and beat, up the, uh, the neutral, or beat him out with the neutral jump, rather. Instinct pop, what's gonna happen here? Finds the counter hit. Ooh, Ooh threw him out of the overhead. This is gonna be rough. Plus frames. Nice manual off the fireballs. That was a beautiful confirm. Goes for the damage ender. Alright. Nice. That's gonna work. Kill him? Yeah. Nice. I think had he gone for a heavy manual there, it would have been enough to kill and he wouldn't have been able to break it. So going for the light was kind of a risk. Oh, oh blocks, blocks the tail the mix up. Nobody blocks those. Oh, base blocks those. I see that now. Nice heavy lock. He plays out. this game this long enough to, to know that that's going to be across the 99% of the time. Nobody goes for tail flip in the front. And then when, you know, when it happens, you usually just walk into it because you're expecting it to cross up. So right. We'll see what happens. But it seems like bad. Uh, every, every high level Ripter player has that one tail flip. Yeah, <laughs> that's literally all you'll see. You'll, you'll see never see a ripper player that doesn't do it. Yeah, you'll see one tail flip. You gotta place it. it right, though, man. You gotta place it right because sometimes it's just so obvious. Low skull gets blocked, but he doesn't take his turn. He should take his turn after that, like that. Yeah, take the punish. All right, he's going Very for nice. a flip out. No, misses the. Oh, got, got a random goodness. flip out. I don't think he wanted that though. All right, some back and forth action here from Ovis and Base. Base still with the health lead. This. Yep. All right, he's going to go some stuff here. Is he going to do a flip out? No. Tries Break to go for a wow. side Base switch. Base is actually breaking a lot this weekend. Ooh, good check. Beautiful. Good stuff from Ovis. Okay, wow. I like that. He didn't break any of that either. That's a punish on the, on the run. And Ooh. that's going to be a cash out. Nice. All right, so Ovis has to clean up some of his defense right now. Right. Ovis, though, one lockout away from really taking the health bar here. So base not really taking any chances. Smart stuff here. Use the instant cancel for the freeze oh, frame, and he absorbs yeah, it. Because he saw the teleport during the freeze frame. Good stuff. Level four. Boom, boom, boom. One more of those, and he's dead, folks. All right, freeze frame. Ooh, didn't block the fireball. Oh, get kicked in the mouth. That was just dirty. Lots of pressure. He had to hold all of that. All right, so doesn't have great shadow and vulnerability uh, through fireballs. So base just abusing that. He made the right call. Yeah, I think Ovis is definitely gaining, you know, he's definitely figuring out some things, but again, base just really understanding of his options with his character, and then also, oh! Ooh, found the overhead! Ovis Beautiful. is just kind of taking a little bit more liberties here. Plus frames, gets thrown out of it, he mistimed whatever he was going for. Slide manual, locks out on heavies, this is bad. Oh, oh missed the manual, oh. he's not taking advantage of this, didn't break any of the lights. The Ovis being way too, uh... Heads. Oh no. Back in the corner. Didn't get baited. 
All right, Ooh, big whiff. one chance here to get rid of these curses. He's got to make something happen, though. He found two counter hits and did nothing with them. Okay, that's something. All right. Nice. Beat him with the neutral jump. Wow. A crazy sequence from Ovis right now. What's he going to do? Oh, Ovis. nice with the uh, Soul Sword. And that's going yeah, to cash out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just enough. Just one of those scramble situations that Ovis was definitely trying to clean it up, trying to find a hit there, but he just didn't really like... He didn't wasn't, convert off of any yeah, of Yeah, he wasn't no. really able to find that hit that stuck. He wasn't really able to uh, really make up, get any real mileage out of that. Right. He's doing well in the mid-range, but he's got to figure out what to do once he gets going. Yeah, for sure. All right, base here. Basically one lockout oh, big combo overhead. Away. Oh, and he gets it. No, but no meter. Going to throw him. He's going to be a danger. Overhead. Oh, Two teleports. No. He didn't need to do that, but it worked. And that's uh, another quick 3-0 on stream. Base the uh, dedicated, one of the dedicated veterans here. Oh, yeah. We're out here. Yeah. And that's usually how it goes with these tournaments. You know, the, the community is, uh, the attendance is, you know, a little bit smaller, but it's still pretty high level play. Uh, the majority of the players here have yes. all been playing the game now for three years, two to three years total. Right. Uh, <laughs> some even longer than that, you know, base being in the game since season one. Yeah, we're season one boys for sure. Yeah, so definitely has the most experience. He's the most experienced spinal player to date at this point, so definitely very aware of his matchups and just kind of all those different tools that he has there. So obviously right. he's looking to take the tournament, but he still has a bit of a climb to make. Yep, still in the bracket, you know, still winner's side, so. Yeah, you got you got yourself, Apex, definitely some uh, very interesting. Talis still in the winners, yeah. Yes, exactly. Letalis, Letalis is definitely my favorite to win it. I'll I'll sp I'll make he's, the call now. He's tough, man. He took me out at CEO. He's a, he's a strong pick. I will definitely make the call this time. I think Letalis is more than likely the favorite to win it. He's on a, been a steady climb. He's never really been, you know, just kind of out. It's just you know sometimes he just gets some unlucky breaks. A lot of right. matches he loses are usually close ones. It's never a blowout. Right. He never gets just blown up and just, you know, sent to losers or eliminated on some other stuff. You know, yep. he's always been a pretty strong player. So oh, yeah, we can do it now. Okay. Nicky's going to go ahead and play his match. And uh, we're going to go ahead and keep this going here. So we're going to keep it going here with some more KI. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Once again, this is your boy, Pretty Boy Jackal. And, uh, yeah, I know. How can you know if I'm so pretty if I got my face covered? But... We kind of go for a new look today. Just uh, trying to have some new things here. I am happy to be here. A lot of folks are happy to be here. I'm glad that you guys are here checking us out. To all of you, this is NEC right here in Philadelphia. King of Prussia, Pennsylvania King to be exact. NEC Beautiful. 19. King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Beautiful venue. Great venue. Definitely <sighs> you have a good time here. Come through if you can. If you weren't able to Absolutely. show up, you definitely missed out. This is my very first NEC, actually. Really? So I'm definitely glad I was able to make it out this year. Let me tell you guys, this is this venue is like a fraction of what we were supposed to have. Normally, mm -hmm. we're in the basement of the, of the casino, and it's huge. It's like... I yeah, I heard. It's, so like, it's like three of these rooms. It's like three of... Three times as big as the space that we have right now. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. So for those of you that weren't aware, there was a flooding incident that took place here at the venue that actually caused the convention center to be unavailable for use for the event. So, shouts out to uh, Big E and the Big E Gaming team for making the adjustments necessary to still yeah. kind of, you know, bring us a high quality uh, space here and just making do it what they have. And I definitely feel that Big E is one of those, you know, one of those event organizers that is really good at that. You know, he takes what he has and he makes yep. it work he for as big as he can. He makes he makes something really good out of it and we're really happy to have him around. Of course. Now, of course, we have Conra and Sadira on the screen. We haven't seen this matchup this in a, a this long is a rare matchup. time. You guys are in for a treat. We're going way back into season two <laughs> archives here. So yep. Yep. Conra, Sadira, both characters that have been adjusted a few a couple both, times. Both characters I think are generally regarded as low tier right now. Not a big deal in KI. These characters can still do serious damage. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it just takes a little bit different. You know, it just takes a little bit more now to make their stuff stick, mm -hmm. which isn't t entirely terrible. So we have play all games. Zenkai facing off against Lunar Sage, and uh, Lunar Sage being very smart here. Great stuff using the sand spikes. Keep him out. Great. You want to, to keep Sadir out as long as possible. All right, now he's on him, so he's going to have to hold that, but he still has the sand trap, so at any given moment, 
He can use that wake up to explode First. right in his face. And he's going to do it. There, and he gets the free in and out of the corner. Now, for those who don't know, that also damages Conrad, puts a little potential damage on him. So it can be dangerous. He can, if he can he's low enough on himself. health, he can kill himself. He can just straight up end a, end a game. The funniest thing is that he actually laughs at you. Yeah. But if he, <laughs> he, if he kills himself, if he ends the entire game, he will just laugh maniacally into the night. Right. He's like, ha ha, you thought I go out on my own terms. Yep. Absolutely. You thought. Nope. All right. So now we are Got in the curse on instinct him. mode. No, he's bit bar on the sand trap. So now yep. what happens is the sand trap becomes a bit of its own thing. Yeah. Meaning that mind anytime it, he gets near it, yeah, anytime he gets near it, uh, a nice little stinger comes out to keep the opponent in place. Yep. So Ooh. now you're dealing with the Doesn't instinct block the mix ups. Sadira instinct to this day, still one of the most frustrating things to deal with. Absolutely. It's what do you think maybe is the most difficult instinct to deal with at this current time? Idols, absolutely. Idol? Yeah. He's plus on everything. Okay. He gets, I mean, his uh, his quarter circle forward punch is plus five on block. I know, it's great. It's awful. It's awesome. It hurts me. <laughs> um, so you just get to sit in pressure for 15 seconds while, course, he, while he just, like, chips you out. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, Zenkai here has a bit of a health lead, but Lunar Sage really trying to work on getting that down here, but Zenkai doing a great job he's being mobile. A, he's got a little bit to take out that. Okay. Blade Demon past that. Are the are the little crouching light punch, is that a projectile, or is that? No, it's not. That's uh, not. Okay. It's just that uh, Severe just, Shadow there actually low crushes. Right. Okay, I wasn't sure if that if it, which one it was. Yes. All right, Zenkai here takes game number one. And a first to three. Lunar Sage just kind of overwhelmed there. Yeah. Once Zenkai really got on him and started to pressure. I've played I played a few sets with Lunar Sage earlier today. Uh, he's a little new at the game, but you know, being here, being in this environment is the best thing for you. If you want to learn, if you want to get better. Yes. Come out to an event, just jam sets with people. Of course. You have to get out of the house, ladies and gentlemen. Get your ass out of this house. Off the couch. Go to your locals. We go get to your it. Majors. The online is great. The net play is awesome. However, best in the business. Yes, but you still need that offline experience. Still gotta show up. All right, Luna Sage playing a lot slower, a little bit more methodical. Okay. Nice tip. Catch him out of blocks, done. Oh no, but no recapture. And a lot of light manuals there, okay. and a heavy nice. manual would have finished heavy that manual. off. That was nice. And it's and since it's a heavy manual, it creates that sand trap for him. All right, so we got the Shadow Scarabs that hones in on the Lands opponent. right on it. Lunar Sage looking a lot more solid this time around. He's got Definitely. the life lead. He's got the spacing. That is going to be a little rough. Yeah, the, thing about, the thing about Kronra's heavy punch is that if you do it too high, you're way too negative. You want to jump, and then as you're coming down, use it. So you get both hits, and you're plus. I think you're plus on block. Oh, great manual start there, but drops the combo. And a juicy lockout for some healthy damage. These guys Double are unlocking there. so many accessories. I know, right? <laughs> we got to turn those up. <laughs> All right, okay. so uh, there's, Shadow there's Sand Trap. Sand Trap, extra pressure. And if you get hit by that tail, it applies the curse on you for four seconds. Yes, it which does. Which means you are slower, floatier, and uh, you don't have a good time. Yeah, normals come out slower. Your moves, they actually are less safe, yep. if at all, on block. Yep. It's really uh, interesting. And you get super floaty in, like, the worst ways. All right, so this is a matchup that Kamra can definitely deal with, but yeah. Lunar Sage is just going to have to be a little more <coughs> careful with the placement of his attacks. He's doing a great job with the zoning, but when he uses those normals, as you can see there, he's yeah. not really using them in the most optimal spots. Yeah. Uh, nice. Beats Shadow Counter. Oh, and a nice there, flip the out set up there. Meaty stand fierce. Nice break. Now he's, Tries to get been, to the he's been trying all all set to catch uh, Zenkai with the end right, line. Jumping, the yeah. End, yeah, and it's just not really working out for him. Now, it's, a this smart, it's a smart idea because Sidira is a character who wants to be in the air a lot. So if you can catch her before she can, she can even get herself off the ground, you're in a good spot. Now, this is great for That's Lunar Sage. So you just see that jump. That trap. Oh, projectile invincible. Okay. The thing about the sand trap, the shadow sand trap, is once Conrad gets hit, 
the uh, the scorpion tail will stop doing its thing. It'll stop going automatically. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Nice There's the air grab. Spraying, capitalization and a oh! oh, That's what I wanted to see. And he blows up and takes a game. And he does it. That, that, was, that, that was, was smooth. Nice. That, that was, was very pretty smooth. good. All right, Lunar Sage on the board. One one. Great stuff here from both players. Mm. Again, Lunar Sage doing a great job of spacing out mm -hmm. those scare ups, the sand traps. The only thing though is that he's gonna have to work on spacing out his normals and the anti lion a yeah. lot better. See, he's now a little bit more comfortable. There you go. He's getting a recapture, but the setups are not working all for his favor. He's getting he's in the corner now. This, oh, is, this is the hard part. He gets flip the flip out. out. Yeah, that was really smart from okay. uh, oh, and all he had to do was land a block. All he had to do was land and block that blade demon, but he really wanted to get the uh, get the sand trap out. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, doesn't, doesn't nice cross crossover. Okay. Sit there and block that for a sec. That shadow sand trap getting a lot of mileage from Luna Sage here, but he's gonna have to be careful. Now he's super in instinct out. mode, so he has the assisted super jump, yep. which allows him to ju jump super high in the air or basically jump clear across the screen. Yep. Not to mention, he does also have access to his, for lack of a better term, enhanced sand moves where he can actually spin and create a tornado, create a tornado. that can actually go full screen and cover the entire, and cover like up to full jump height yep. if it's fully charged. You can jump over it. Every character can jump over it, but you have to be more or less perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, but otherwise, it's unblockable, too. The fully charged one. Yeah, the you fully charged one is that. very dangerous. Yep. Oh, misses the manual. Like you said, you know, he's a little newer, so in these kind of situations, he's not really... He doesn't really have that clutch crisp factor yet. Just, yeah. just yet. Yep. Uh, locks out. This is going to be game. Level 4 Ender game goes three. for the, the Ultra. Zenkai. How we doing? Yeah. All right. So, nice show in there from Zenkai. Great uh, adaptations there. Again, Sadira, one of those characters where she gets once she gets started, she's pretty much on you. Does have a bit of trouble dealing with zoning, but and that's pretty much what you're supposed to do is to make her come to you, make her jump around, and Absolutely. use all of those resources to get around the zoning and then you capitalize on those openings that she creates for you when she's maneuvering. Yep. You can wait for her to screw up. Yeah, Luna Sage, you know, was he's a little aware of that, but the thing is that he's not really catching all of the openings that he's getting, you know, when Spira yeah. is jumping in with the double jump, the wall jump. Those are opportunities for the anti air command grab. Yeah, that's he what has I was going to say. It's like he needs to uh, he needs to be on the lookout for when Spira's in the air just throw Definitely. medium heavy clutch. You know, try to use a bit of a uh, triangle formation with the scarabs. You know, you put one in front, one mm -hmm. up top, and one in the back. Yep. And then, you, you limit, know, you limit force the screen her. space as much as possible. Yeah, exactly. And then you just sit there. And then, of course, you have the sand trap to, to cover your back. But Lunar Sage decided to go for a little bit of a change here. If he's going to go out, he's going to go out swinging. I respect it. And Maya, definitely a character that can keep up with Sadira's mobility, a very for mobile sure. character for herself. Sure. And also having some projectile games that she can help to counteract Sadira's projectile game. They both have those godforsaken downward diagonal projectiles. Definitely. So nice That's command grab. grab. Into the corner already. Okay. All right. Lunar Sage here having a way stronger start now that he's using Maya. Oh, and a light lockout there. That's not good. And he gets the level four ender. Nice damage knockdown. That is not a hard knockdown. So Lunar Sage does have the ability to quick rise if he want if he wishes to do so. Nice DP to punish that. Okay. Gets grabbed. Back back in the corner. Uncomfortable spot. He's only got one dagger on him. All right. Now he has the opportunity to cash this out, but gets broken. Okay. Gets the daggers back. Tries to grab on wake up. All right, that, I think it's probably one of the things he needs to watch out for the most. Just trying to grab people on the wake up. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, gets caught in the air there. Especially against a, a character like Sidiru, who's going to be in the air more often than she's not. You know, she's going to want to jump away. Do it. He goes for it again. Gets caught by the web. All right. Down again, that's not a hard knockdown. 
All right, now this is going to be a lot of damage here. Spins the bar, gets the level four ender. Not a hard knockdown, but he doesn't get up. Danger zone. Okay. This is smart. Smart to save his blocking. last chance. He's got a lot of work here. Zenkai being very out. smart here, not breaking anything. Doesn't get the clean hit. Oh, that's but he converts it. it. And that is it. He gets the juggle from the blade demon, and that's the end of it. Good stuff all around. Not solid, a bad solid set. No, not Definitely. at all. Nothing like against me and base. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's all I, nerves. It's all just like I know how to fight spinal, but every time I'm up there, my hands just fucking shake. Yeah, it, it happens. You know, you get up mm. there, and it's a whole other ball game, which is why it's so important to get that offline experience so you yep. can get over that. Yeah. But again, you know, great showing from Lunar Sage for you know one of his first showings here yeah. at a, in a tournament setting for Killer Instinct. And again, I'm I'm super proud of anybody who came out here to play. You know, this is where you want to be. Yeah, definitely. It's just one of those kind of things where it's nothing else like it. Yeah. You know, no, it's, it's a whole... There's nothing that compares. It's a completely different <coughs> world. You have, you know, spectators watching you. You mm -hmm. are up there. It's a high-level situation. A lot of tension. A lot of really close counters. Yep. So we're definitely going to keep the <sighs> Killer Instinct action coming up here. And, again, we appreciate all of you for checking us out here at NEC 19 Northeast Championships. So, uh... Definitely glad that you guys could come join us for some Killer Instinct action Thank on this guys. beautiful Saturday and evening. And super huge thanks to Combat Network for putting us on. Lunar State, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was a complete stroke of luck that I found them and, and said to them, hey, can we put KI on stream? We're not even on the schedule. And they said, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, you know, because uh, I, I was hoping for it. I know, <laughs> I know. I, I didn't have I said anything it coming into this event. I, I have no idea what I was doing, I and I was like, "Please give me MK <laughs> Injustice and Killer Instinct." Yeah, I know I, they're all there. Give me them. I said to Shock, "Hey, man, you want to stream KI?" And his eyes lit up. And I was like, "It's I'm a good I'm game. I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. It's a really good game. You Absolutely. Know? It's it's not a dead game. Mm -mm. People are constantly. You can still you can get online to find matches right now. Yeah, it'll take you like five seconds. It's a free to play game. It's great. You can still download it for free. I mean, they put it on sale. They put all the characters on sale for like ten dollars, regularly. It was there was a Steam sale last month for Black Friday. It was ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. Buy it. It's, it's a, a great game. game. It's a good game. Definitely a good game. Shout out to Keats mm -hmm. and the rest of the Iron Galaxy crew yeah. for Poor Keats. doing. Uh, Let's be real. That man faced so much abuse. <laughs> that man got they they definitely did a good job with the product. Uh, I I have to say the final product for. All intents and purposes, overall, it's still pretty, pretty it's well really balanced. Good. It's really good. There's a lot of great stuff in there. It's a shame, like what happened to Ki over the course of tournaments, like getting dropped out of Evo, even though we were getting growth every year. Yeah. Um, and then it was just, you know, we still got Combo Breaker. We still got like 100 plus people showing up for Combo Breaker every year. That's always a hype event. Of course, Combo uh, Breaker is the Evo. It's it's for it's Ki's thing. Evo. It's Skullgirls' Evo. It's uh, yes, yeah, easily. It's it's the Evo for a lot of it's, different. It's games. where Vampire Savior lives. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Yes. All right, so we have Sonic Dolphin facing off against Lunar Sage. No, Zenkai, no, sorry. Sage. Facing off against Lunar uh, Sage. Uh, yeah, no, they were doing the losers match. So it's okay. Lunar Sage versus Sonic Dolphin. Okay, okay. Uh, I did not see who Sonic Dolphin picked. He's the he is uh, Arbiter. Okay, he's doing Arbiter for this. Uh, we switch him back. Match started. Button oh, check. Button yeah. check. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Yeah, so uh, definitely got oh. some good stuff happening here. We got Arbiter on the screen. Yep. Another character you don't see often. Yeah, Arbiter yeah. Arbiter is another one of those characters who got kind of rod by the patches. He he was really powerful at the start of Season 3. They kind of trimmed him down a little bit. He's not quite as oppressive. Um, I still think he's a good character. Yeah, definitely <laughs> uh, not the strongest, but, mm. of course, viable to a, mm -hmm. to a degree. Every character is viable in this game. Yeah, but uh, he does have his struggle matchups. Mm -hmm. So, And what character doesn't, you know, well, yeah. except Jago. But yeah. we're not going to talk about that. You know, Jago. this is a great, this is a good environment. We are being, we are positive this is, here. This is a positive, worry-free environment. And you know why? Because there are no Jagos <laughs> in this tournament. <laughs> Because Thompson couldn't be here. That's the only reason why we're happy. We don't want you here, by the way. That's <laughs> let let that be known. We we are perfectly okay without having to deal with Jago and and all of the wondrous tools that he has to offer. <laughs> you can hear the you can hear the pleasure in my voice as I as I recall 
the many different things that Jago's allowed to do. It's just uh, whatever great, he wants. It's just great things. Yep. All right, so Sonic Dolphin here pushing the issue here, being a already, lot more aggressive. Already getting it. Uh, already getting it going. And and Arbiter's definitely one of those characters where you don't you, you can definitely play him a lot of different styles. You can be defensive, you can be offensive as you can see here. You can be in and out. And he yep. puts the overshield on. Great stuff here. Great start from Sonic Dolphin. Almost working on a perfect. Uh oh. I feel like he could have DP'd out there. I'm not sure though. Maya's DP is a little weird. It like has invulnerability and then it doesn't and then it does. Yeah, because the invincibility, the uh, vulnerability actually doesn't start until frame three. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. The, that's the thing. So you could potentially <coughs> meet it, but yep. if she burns meter, then it's truly invincible. Right. Oh, and a great anti-air there from Sonic Dolphin. Sonic Dolphin is on point right now. Still, he oh still God, has overshield. And he still has overshield, which is fun, basically extra health for, uh, for Arbiter. It's about 9% every time he pops that. Oh, nice tick grab here. Gets the grenade set up. Is that a recapture? Yes, it is. And it the is. one chance into the ultra. That was. Very quick. Rough. All right, so Lunar Sage here. Definitely going to have to make some adjustments. Maybe a character switch? I feel like, I mean, I can't say because I've never seen the matchup, but Kamra might actually be able to keep... Arbiter out a bit better. Well, the thing is that Conra has a unique opportunity with forcing Arbiter to use his resources. So yeah. the Carbine, for example, as you can see at the bottom right of the screen, mm -hmm. is not. It, it is a. It it's a reload. finite. It's a finite yeah. resource. He doesn't have infinite bullets. He does have to watch yep. when and where he uses them. He can use them for damage. He can use them for approach. But once the bullets are gone, they are gone. Yep. So Conra, in this case, if he plays a one a keep away game, could potentially force Arbiter to use those resources with his grenades. Yep. The uh, oh, and his, we got a counter breaker. His grenades do regenerate. You see a little uh, a little bar going up there. He just got his third back. Uh, but if he throws them all, he doesn't have anything. That overhead just took the entire overshield. Yeah, that's pretty good. The over overshield, while it is extra health, is not that much extra health. A couple no. good hits from it, and you're pretty much good to go. And he's holding on to that. He uh, waits. It's the that's the roughest thing. If you have a grenade on you and he uh, goes into that, he can hold the shadow grab for like a while, and it's long enough that the grenade will explode and you'll get recaptured either way. Arbiter, a thief in the knife, a thief in the okay. night, just kind of taking that health bar. All right, Luna Sage here definitely showing a lot more promise here. As he blocks the grenade and gets out of the tick grab setup, but the overshield once that's, again. That's the other thing. When Arbiter has overshield, he ignores all hit stun from projectiles. He just gets to stand there, lose the overshield health, but otherwise not care. All right, all right. Now that was a health bar here for Sonic Dolphin, but again, Lunar Sage in a really good spot. The health lead. He's got one of the daggers charged up. So there you go, yeah. right there, the homing daggers. A really good start here, but he's now lost the dagger, so he has to DP's get it back. out of the grab, waits out the uh, the grenade explosion. All right, he's got to okay. get that purple dagger yeah, back. Yeah, get it back. Go to Mantis? Nope. Ooh, Gonna get nice. anti-aired either way. Oh, gets the lockout, but doesn't cash it doesn't out in the out. drop. But he the, gets it. The American reset Ooh, into the, the American shot, reset the is going to kill for him. Oh, this That's is it. dangerous. That's it. That's a game for Lunar Sage. Very well done. All right, so Lunar Sage kind of responding in kind yeah. uh, to Sonic Dolphin's aggressive play, kind of pushing the issue himself mm -hmm. and establishing in a more aggressive style on his own. Definitely some good stuff here. And we're even. We're even. And this is really good. This is a really good position if you are Lunar Sage because now you've established that you're not afraid. Yep. And if you're Sonic Dolphin, now you have to be the one that has to adapt. You have to be the one that has to change up your style. And as you can see here, he is being a lot slower here. And this is what I was telling you about, about oh those different play styles, being able to play them defensively and offensively. Sonic Dolphin using that stand medium punch. Great stuff. Great use of those sword, those uh, energy sword buttons there. Great damage. Now, one thing that Lunar Sage could potentially call, uh, capitalize on is that any time that Sonic Dolphin goes 
into the, you know the hop slash with the uh, arbiter, he could counter poke that with a jab. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice jump, fierce there. Grabs him on wake up. That's gonna. Be okay, it's, it returns to neutral. Like he gets recaptured by the grenade, but arbiter still in the middle of being knocked out. All right, gets the uh, level two, max KB level. All right, trying corner. to get that dagger. Get Sonic dagger Dolphin knows it. Arbiter is just a wall, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're in jail now. All right, he's still okay, trying okay. to get that other dagger, but Sonic Dolphin doing a great job of watching it. But the instinct automatically draws the daggers back to her. Yep. Hopping the overshield. Smart stuff from Sonic Dolphin allows him to take those dagger hits and continue forward. Oh, and the counterbreaker, and this oh. may be game. This is level four Ender. He's going to go for the full damage. Yeah, one bullet and shot. And that's it. Yep. 2 1 Sonic Dolphin. Another victory. Yes, but Sonic Dolphin four. definitely staying on top of Lunar Sage there. Not letting him uh, create the distance that he really wanted as Maya. Yeah, and this, this is definitely a uh, back and forth kind of match. It seems that. You know, one is basically comes down to whoever gets started first, one or the other. Yeah, for sure. Lunar Sage definitely uh, taking some good measures here, trying to get out. However, Sonic Dolphin switching it up with the setup there. Great defense there from Lunar Sage, just kind of taking the block, taking the chip, not panicking. Okay. All right, trying to find something. No dice on the jump ins there. Builds up the dagger pip. I like that Sonic Dolphin is using normals into grenade instead of going for the hop because, you know, he's not really giving Lunar Sage many chances to counter poke there, which is really great stuff. Oh, all right, all right. Punish. I see why he's doing the empty jumps now. He was ready for that uh, the shadow grab at that time. However, the grenade exploded, so he doesn't get much off of that. And there you go. That's that hop that that interruptible string there. But at the distance, there's not really many options that Maya has. Yep, that, that space right there, about two character lengths, that's where Arbiter really wants to be, because that's the tip of his sword. All right, and a heavy lockout here, goes for damage. Gonna use that carbine, try to get something else. Two shots, hard knockdown. Swats Maya out of the air. All right, Luna Sage here, definitely gonna have some work to be done. Gets the cross up. Shadow counters the, the step kick, finally. Oh, a little, a little early counter. on the shadow counter. Air he just, parries. Wait, he just parried that in the air? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my god. Arbiter can air parry. Wow. Uh, you see it like once every thousand years, but he can do it. That was really interesting. Great character awareness there from Sonic Dolphin. Oh, my oh. god. I'm surprised he's not able to confirm that. Uh, wow, just outranges the sweep. Or outranges the uh, overshield pop with that sweep. All right, this is pretty much do or die for Lunar Sage here, working on danger, and gets can't, in can't the do face. the dagger throw when Arbiter's eight feet tall and his feet, his legs are half that. You know, yeah. he kicks halfway across the damn screen. Stay in medium kick for the finish. Great <sighs> stuff there from Lunar Sage. Great showing there from Sonic Dolphin. Mm -hmm. Sonic Dolphin, another one of those players that has been improving over the a years. Lot. A lot. And you're seeing that a lot in the community. A mm -hmm. lot of players that. You know, definitely took a little longer yeah. to get further in the current meta with mm -hmm. their performance. And it's really good to see newer players kind of step it up and, and, it's, and put and it's that really out there. good, especially Sonic Dolphin. You know, he's been kind of an innovator for his characters. Kim Woo and Arbiter, you know, a couple years ago, nobody was playing them. Yeah, exactly. And that's a really good show, a really good point that you're making there because Sonic Dolphin was a, is a loyalist to those characters. He plays those characters. Yeah. Uh, even when everybody was saying that it's not worth it playing those characters, yeah. they you know he yeah. stuck it out with them, and he's like you say he created tech for those yep. characters that you very rarely see yeah. from anyone else. He he pioneered for sure. All right, uh, so uh, Mr. Ovis I here, I gotta get off. I gotta fight Sonic Dolphin off his, stream. Uh, playing this match here, we're gonna get yep. get it going with some more Killer Instinct action. Again, it's your boy, Pretty Boy Jackal. You know, just uh, saying hi to you guys. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> narcissism aside. Please, thank you for joining us. We are here at NEC 19, uh, brought to you by Big E Gaming, of course. Hold it right here at the Valley Forge Casino in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. You know, 
I thought, you know, I saw Ovis sitting over here. I was like, oh, I get to commentate again. But then I saw him get up. I got to talk to you again? Hi, buddy. Hey, friend. Hello. You still got that mask on, too. It's mad disrespectful. Do you want to try it on? You no want to wear it? No, I don't know where that's been. I, I warmed it up for you. No, especially. Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, uh, Sonic Dolphin, you know, one of God those, life. one of those, uh, uh, as Ovis said, innovators of the characters that he plays. You know, Arbiter and Kim Wu, a char two characters that are basically written off to a degree in this current meta. Yeah, in their current state, you know, back in the day, Larry was playing Kim. We saw a lot of Arbiter from Sleep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the changes that they had, they kind of, you know, stopped playing those characters. You know, Sonic Dolphin was like, wow, these characters are still really good. And now he's, you know, showing us their, their true potential. And he's using, I feel like he's using them to the best of their ability. So we're really, you know, seeing what these characters are capable of now. And uh, they're strong. They're really good in the meta. Of course. So. And it's one of those recurring stories, you know. You always see those sleeper characters. Just basically right. someone that is willing to take the time to, and the effort to really flesh them out. And see what's going on with them, you know, where you have Freaky Jason with Khan Ra, yeah, Sonic Dolphin yeah. with Arbiter and Kim Woo, uh, you know, Devil you, May Care with TJ Combo, all of these different of characters that you don't really get to witness often because they're just, they're not as obvious. Right. You know, they, they definitely right. take some time to crack open and you have those character loyalists, those specialists that do really well and really strongly. And it's been said, you know, a character specialist kind of has more longevity in, an, in the meta of a game as opposed to, you know, top tier loyalists. You Somebody know? who just plays the top tier. Yeah, course, exactly, yeah. because they're going to have a better understanding of how to play a character, and not only right. that, they learn how to play the game better because they are using the strengths and tools that are presented to them as opposed to just trying to pick whatever they feel is favorable at the moment. Right, right. And it depends on the player, too, because you can look at somebody like Rico or Wheels who have picked several characters across the, the history of this game and have been successful with almost all of them. Or you can look at somebody like Thompson who we've never seen any, you know, he, he used, like, only Jago. Yep. Maybe Shadow Jago once or twice in tournament, but... 99% of the time is Jago. And of those, course. That's, that's what you see. It's, and, it's two sides of the same coin. Right, right. So, it's... um. Yeah, it's good that we're seeing those characters now. We, we could actually see how balanced this game actually is for what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening all, all around, and there's like, oh, all these broken characters, but it's like, wow, actually all these characters kind of have something broken. Yes, so definitely. That, that's what's cool about it, man, is every, every character is strong in their own unique way. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's definitely uh, one of that, those things that gives everybody an edge. Yeah, some strong enough, strong, uh, stronger than others, but that's that's fighting games. But remember, you know, that's balance remember, boxes. Spinal sucks. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, uh, so does Sadira. Yeah, 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 definitely. And that's another thing too. Uh, Sadira, oh man, that instinct is still, still to nightmare day, fuel. To this day, you gotta, you gotta block right. All right, so we got Cinder against yeah, Rash. With Cinder, I'm, I'm interested as to why he's using Cinder as opposed to Spinal in this matchup. Um, I think he usually beats Apex with Spinal, so maybe he's just. Having fun? I don't know what he's doing here. So we'll, we'll see how this matchup goes. Well, Cinder, Cinder does have a, a lot better air mobility. So in the regards right. to this, you know, he can potentially... Is it like as good as Rash's, though? Because Rash is a problem in the air. You <sighs> yeah. know, Rash has some really good arrow tools. Oh, of course. But maybe it's the DP. Maybe he's using the, the threat of the DP to make Apex scared to go in the air. You know, maybe that's what we'll see here. Yeah, definitely. And not to mention that even though it's not a completely true reversal, it's like you say, it's still there. So in the event Very that good. he gets B knocked big down. Big vertical hitbox, you know. Yeah, exactly. And there's that mobility that you were seeing there using that flame. Oh, my goodness. It's jumped on. Yeah. Wow, went for a heavy boot. Now, Rash, Lock. as good as he is, doesn't have the fastest buttons. Nope. Good so. conversion from Apex. Thought he's gonna go straight for the recap. Wow, the break at the very last second. And a nice shadow break from Apex. These guys are playing some heavy neutral right now. Very rarely do you see this in KI, but at the highest level you will see this, folks. This is good stuff right now. Alright, All right, gets the conversion. Uh, burns the legs. Good option. And there you see it, that strategy from base, nice. you know, picking Cinder, having the ability to do that, preventing. Rash from really getting going with a lot of those mobility tools that make him such a threatening character. Right, right. Doesn't get, quite get the kill off that level four, but he's got Apex in the danger zone. The end of his first life bar. Gonna pop Great the instinct, keep it safe. Nice, gets the punish on the whip DP. 
Oh my goodness, Beautiful. that manual was ridiculous. Yeah, very good timing on that. That was very nice. Apex is a decent lead right now. He's got to keep it going. Oh wow. my Run god, up gets the what conversion. a madman. It worked. He knew He knew base wanted to do something there. And these manuals. Apex, please. Gets the wall splat and the sweep. What's the setup? What's the overhead? No good. Oh, nice no. meaty. Catches the back dash, but base I'm is working. I'm wondering why on base it. didn't go for a recap there. He could have recapped him and maybe burned out a limb, but he didn't. Possibly didn't want to give him instinct meter, you know. Uh, he's gonna get it anyway. All right, base here working on a huge deficit, but you've seen base in this position before. He can make this comeback if he can get started here. But Apex doing Apex a great just, job. Yeah, just at the circus right now. Good sweep. Breaks the light. How did base break that? All right, nice. literally one touch Apex away here. Apex doesn't have here. to do anything here. He's just got to chill out. That jumping heavy kick was a bad decision. He's mashing. Heavy. Breaks the medium. Base breaking like a miracle man right now. Oh, all he, had is, all he has to do is shadow DP when he's in the air like that. That would have been game. Cinder has no Oh, no, no not that. like this. All right. This is, this is Base's last chance here. Yep. And he's making it count. He's got one. He needs two more. Maybe one more if he can get a lockout. Good break on the recap. Apex should just go for shadow. No, oh, and he based the DP. Nice, good break. That's gonna whiff. Oh my God! He didn't need to do that. All he had to do was not any of that, and he would have been fine. But he did all of that, and he wasn't fine. And now base is up 1-0 when he should be not. <laughs> so that's that's what happened there, folks. Um, all right, Apex so Apex just had to play a little bit. I'm gonna there. take responsibility for that one. What Commentator's did you do? curse. I called it out. This is when it actually works out in 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 the player's favor. I told, I said it. I told you guys this guy has been in this position before. It happens. Apex, what are you gonna do next, man? We gotta see your response. I hope he's not affected by this. I know he's a strong player. And he, he he knows he knows the not be affected by something like that. Well, it's he's a first of three, forward. so he has time. Right. He's in the corner though. Wow, that's a good battering ram though. All right, gotta be careful gets here. Thrown, but the burnout has ended. Still at level four though. Gets thrown. Light. Oh, but he didn't cash out. That's big for Apex right now. That's not good. One chance at the level four. That would give him a lot more than, well, what is base doing? He wants some potential damage. But he could have cashed out and killed him a long time ago. He's just extending combos uh -oh. for no reason now. And now Apex has another chance. Gets the recap. You know, base with these breaks right now, breaking very consistently when he does try to break. And base with the defense blocks all of that stuff. I don't know how, but he figures it out. Yeah, I mean, well, Apex wasn't going for anything crazy intense there. So he, you know, he... He didn't have to uh, worry about the crazy cross-ups that he was going for. He was just going for mids. But good stuff from base regardless. It's the uh, first life bar. Oh, DPs through the jab attempt. He said, oh, you like to do jungle, DPs, huh? I got one too. Base almost toying with him right now, I feel like. He could be optimizing this a little better. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is this definitely is stuff, a statement though. round. Level three. Oh. Oh, the swoop. That was kind of Street Fighter-esque there. Nice battering ram. Consistent with that. All right. Apex trying to get something started nice. here. Nice. Good lockout. Going to get the recap. No. Lots of drops from both of these guys right now. Maybe some nerves. Oh, yeah. Definitely some nerves. If I if I saw that comeback and I'm on the other end of the screen, I am definitely worried about what I'm going to do to get a response to that. And gets a lockout. This could be death here. The damage ender, very oh, close to death. Apex pixel. has got to figure this out. Oh my yeah, goodness. So that, was, that was a bad game for Apex. He, he could have won that first game, but I feel like that, that... Oh man, I feel like that really got to him. This isn't looking good. He's got to uh, he's got to make an adjustment now. I think he should just relax and figure it out because that first game was totally in his favor and he just... And that's know, just man. the craziest things there. You know, base being one of those one of those players that is really good at tacking on the pressure when he knows that you're afraid. Right, right. Once he has that fear and, and he knows it, then he's kind of a difficult, you know, person to beat. Apex here has got to turn it around, gets locked out on the light, does a battering ram. Alright. This is the overhead. Now we're kind of even here, so this is definitely a better start for Apex. Wow, good but bait from base. He's going to have to figure something out quickly. Finds a counter hit. And a nice heavy break. Toast them feet. Watch your toes. Good break on the lights. 
Hex is playing very scared right now. Uh, he's pressing buttons on wake up too. Wow, good guess break. All right, instinct cancel. What's the mix up? Nothing. You got nothing for him. And he jumped right into that and basically confirmed. Oh my goodness, no conversion. Playing very strange right now. That's All right, work. DP recap. gets the conversion. But yeah, breaks the heavy. Like he he's he want Apex to get any mileage off of this. Good punish. That's the start of something beautiful. Apex got him in the corner. Lockout. The cash out. Oh, Apex needed that round. Very nice. He is on All pixel right. average. This is the momentum so. he needed. He has to carry this forward. Oh, and the back there has to bait the grab. This is looking a lot like the first game. A little bit of life for Apex, but he's making it work. Does he go for the? Yeah. Yeah, he missed the punish. It's not a terrible, not a terrible situation. You know, you force him to use his meter. Still However, base still lead. has instinct. Cinder with instinct, still a really real thing. Right. Oh, oh nice didn't want to hold the, to the flip up. out. Yeah, good option there. Didn't want to hold the mix up. Wall splat. All right, no. Apex has to be very careful Can't here. Again. One straight hit, and this could be a very unfortunate situation. That's plus. Base pressing buttons anyway. I don't know why Apex back backdash. Strange. And this is not here. good. Level four Ender with the cash out. That hurts so much. Apex has instinct. Good tech. Oh, oh and he catches he him with the flame. Not have jumped. All right, and it's that's over. a lockout, and that's a cash out. No, he drops it. Wait this is minute. Apex's last chance. He has to make this work. Base just taking the hits. Does decide to break the lights. One too many. Oh, oh my too goodness. Too soon. If, had he waited a split second and let that pillar whiff, could have punished with heavy kick and got another opportunity, but uh, too uh, too early on that one. Apex That's just a little too folks. antsy. You gotta, you have to wait, and that is definitely uh, one of those things with Killer Instinct. Is that it's a, it looks crazy, but you still have to block a lot of this stuff. It's, Correct. It, it's definitely one of those things where you see a lot of crazy stuff, but there's also a lot of work being done on the other end there. You have to be very mindful of what's happening. It looks yes, crazy. at all times. It looks uh, it looks ridiculous, and some of it is, but some of it isn't. And that's you know what you were seeing there. A lot of that stuff that Apex was doing, while it was just all over the place, and he's bouncing all over the screen, it's not a cross-up. It's just, you know, he's in the air, you block high, he's on the ground, you block low. And yeah. at that yeah. range, what really can he do besides right. do a simple block string into his instinct call? And that's one of those things you saw from base yeah. being very but patient. Even, even like, you know, in, the, in that first game, oh, man, I'm getting flashbacks for him. That's bad. He, you know, he was walking back. He was getting away from him. Base had this much life. He had two full meters, and he didn't anti him with Shadow Boot. Yeah. And that would have been the perfect option. Even if he blocked it, I think it would have chipped because it does pretty decent chip. Yeah. So Apex he, he just, just kind of worried. He got a little, he got a little afraid there, and uh, base felt he base knew that, and he, he capitalized. Right, right. And it's just one of those things that, that he continued to ride and build upon with every new match. So you have to be careful in that regard because blocking is very real in Killer Instinct, and sometimes 100 you, you gotta weather the storm. It's the best thing you can do. It's it's funny how that's kind of like a meme, like KI players don't block, and we don't have defense, and it's like if you don't have defense in our game. You're, you're not going to be good at the game. Yeah, you're you're going to get messed up. So it's it's funny that people say that because it's like the exact opposite. Right. People say it about Marvel players too. Like, oh, Marvel players don't block. You have to block in that game. <laughs> you yeah. have to hold this mix up. Well, yeah, sort of, because there's a lot of stuff. You get hit by Doctor Doom and he's got meter, and you got somebody <laughs> else in that team. You might have just lost your character. Yeah, that's another story. We're talking about a whole other game, but it's like, you know, yeah. fighting fighting game players, certain players in certain games don't block. Oh, yeah, definitely. So we're definitely moving forward in the bracket here. We are making good time, and uh, we're definitely moving down the line, so to speak. So base, of course, making yeah, he a moves on path on to uh, almost winner's finals. He yes. is currently in winner's quarterfinals, if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, we have Nikki. Waiting to uh, move forward in the bracket here as well. Yeah, I'll be playing Sonic. the winner of Latalis and uh, Zenkai. All right, so really interesting stuff here. Of course, Latalis, uh, very strong player, uh, placing very high in his last recent uh, last recent tournaments. Combo Breaker, Killer Instinct World Cup. Yes. You know, very strong overall CEO. Definitely a player to be feared and has been a consistent player over the past couple years in the game you know just steadily you know climbing up there yep, also using a character that was kind of written off in the meta Agnos two characters yes Agnos and Ram 
Yes. He's definitely. the only one using both of those characters right now. <laughs> he loves those big bodies and yeah. is very scary with those big bodies. Once yes, he, he knows gets what he's doing. You, yeah, once he gets on you, it is uh, stuff to get out. It's not going to be a fun and time. And once he gets you in the corner, it's like, ah, crap. <laughs> For sure. You know, and it's, it's one of those kind of things that you really have to pay attention to. The connection between the player and their character. It's a very, very beautiful thing once it happens. When you're dealing with it, it's not a beautiful thing. But just to see the level of awareness that he has. With right. Agonos specifically. Rom for sure. But, like, Rom definitely. But Agonos, the decision making and just the, the, the overall use of the tools. Uh, Infiltration actually uh, made a very interesting uh, statement. And in that he takes buttons and repurposes them. Right. He, you know, okay, you have this button that does this. No, I want to use it for something else. And that's definitely what it's important. Things. Yeah, it's, it's an important thing to do because you have to find out, you have to maximize your tools. You know, if, if you have a move that's like a, it's like a crouch and heavy punch, and it's like, oh, well, this is like a really bad anti air. Why would I use this? Maybe it's not meant to be an anti air. Like Mira's crouch and heavy punch is an amazing poke. It's really, really good range. It'll stop Wolf from sliding at her. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, things that you don't think of. You have to maximize your tools and find out what they're really for. Yes, definitely, and that's one of those kind of things that makes Letalis so dangerous is because he's very aware of the tools that he has right. and uses them and multi has multiple uses for each one, uh, you know, using the jab that is a great anti-air and then also using the uh, the club normals. Oh, very yeah, he's incredible with those. His spacing is really good. Mm -hmm. He knows when he wants to hit you on top of the head with one. He knows when he wants to sweep the legs. Like, he's very aware of his, his club normals for sure when he's got the, he's got the stone. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and it's really interesting to watch because it's so calculated. It's very slow. He's yes. always, you know, intentionally slow. Right. He doesn't really try to go crazy. If anything, he just takes these little bits and pieces and, and just kind of, you know, picks his shots. It's like a boxer, you know. He just yeah. kind of stick and he, moving. He's the type of player that... To beat him, you have to meet him at his own pace. You yeah. can't try to speed things up against him. You can't go crazy on him because he's going to shut you down. Uh, of course. He's too solid. Yeah, definitely. He's literally yeah. solid as a rock. <laughs> All puns intended here. All puns intended. So once so. again, thank you guys for joining us. We are here at NEC 19. We Rainbow out here. Jackal, Nikki the God, of course. We are here. NEC, man. It's always a fun tournament. We always have some uh, killers here for KI. Yeah, definitely. Uh, last year was easily one of the most stacked Killer Instinct tournaments. But they're always it was. like that, you know. NEC every year. Yeah, you can't you can't sleep on NEC. It's never been an official KI tournament. It's never been one that you know we see like you know like all the big names. But it's never slept on. Yeah, There's always sure. big names here. Every yeah. I, you know I've been. This is the, you know NEC was the first tournament I ever came to. NEC 14, and uh, wow, that was five years ago, and it was. <sighs> It was stacked then too, man. That was the beginning of season two. I think that was the first first big tournament after the season two patch dropped. Yeah. And uh, wow, it's this just some something about this tournament, you know. It just draws a lot of people out, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and 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 it's you know it's it's so those specific tournaments. There's always those tournaments that you're guaranteed to see some high level uh, quality play from Killer Instinct, Kill, uh, Kumite in Tennessee. Yep. Another yep. tournament. That'll where be in a couple weeks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that another tournament that features Killer Instinct that has some very strong play. Right. And uh, you're definitely looking for. You're definitely going to be seeing some very interesting stuff there. I'll yeah. be there. Thompson's uh, always there. I'll be there for sure. Yeah. You know, exactly. A lot of the the Midwest guys will be there. A lot of the guys from the South are going to come up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be it's going to be a good showing. Kit is always a good Kit tournament for sure. Yes, definitely. And uh, you know, it's always those few. So you know, you got NEC, Kit. Combo Breaker, of course. Yep. Uh, CEO yep. is also a, a really strong tournament as well. Yeah. And, you know, it's always good to see those. SCR. Another SCR is another good one. Another I wish I could have attended this year to de defend my trophy, but uh, I was not able to attend. Yeah. I was, that was uh, Yeah. I was actually not able to attend this year either, which is uh, definitely uh, I had to – I went to go attend a different tournament for uh, Fighting Ants Layer. So right. I had to make a choice. I was just like, uh, yep. uh, all right, fine. Nice. Yeah. That was for CEO Taku, right? Yes, it was. Nice. Congrats on your win. Thank you. Um, you know, KI made me, so <laughs> I had to. I had to <laughs> it made all on. of us, man. We're all here because of this game. Yeah, it's all so crazy, and and it's it's something. It's actually a trend that you're starting to see a lot more with uh, these games that are coming out that people just universally tend to gravitate towards with Soul Calibur, Dragon Ball, 
uh, MK11 coming out in the near future. Yes. A lot of uh, players from different communities are now banding together, and the Killer yeah, Instinct awesome, community man. is definitely one of those communities that has made some very strong, very tough players. You know, Rico right. Suave is a great example of this. You know, he's always been good at other uh, fighting games, but he always yeah. gravitated. I wouldn't use him as an instinct. example. He's you know he's an OG. He's been playing since like Vanilla Street Fighter Four, probably even before that. Yeah. You know, he's he's you know, Abel, been around yeah. for a long time. So that damn Abel. <laughs> So I, I definitely toes. understand that. All right, well then, uh, just uh, another example. You know yourself, and you playing Injustice Two, transitioning from Killer Instinct. You know, definitely uh, making some waves there. And it was know, a cool experience, man. And then you know, playing Tekken, playing NRS games. I got, I got to meet a lot of other people. And then you really see why it's like FGC, fighting game community, because we're all playing different games. Yes, but we are all together. We all know each other. We all want each, you know each other to be good competition for each other so it's exactly it's it's, it's an awesome feeling you know branching out to other communities meeting other players that have the same passion that you do it's yeah and killer feeling. instinct is definitely one of those communities where it's a lot of passion kind of has yeah. to be right definitely very tight-knit community yeah we definitely all know each other we're definitely you know always always playing each other man like <laughs> there's no uh there's no top players like hiding stuff from top players like there might be in other games you know like I this know. is like the real deal like everything you see it's like yeah we know that happens yeah it's broken whatever yeah, and that's another thing, too, is that uh, the Killer Instinct community, one of those communities that is very helpful, uh, very welcoming to new players. So if you're definitely curious about the game and definitely want to try it out again, you can download it for free or for cheap. The game is cheap. on sale on Steam and has been for quite some time. And the game is also at a reduced price in the Microsoft Store for Xbox. Absolutely. Not to mention uh, it's available on Windows 10. So if you buy it on your Xbox, you can actually play it on your PC using the Xbox app. So yes. a lot of different avenues to play there. So you definitely have some opportunities. And if you want to learn the game, you know, you can definitely reach out. There's a Facebook uh, group, the Killer Instinct Online Community. <laughs> the infamous Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all intents and purposes, the infamous Killer Instinct Online Community page. Killer uh, Instinct Ultimate Fans. Where pretty much, yeah, pretty much everything goes down there from beef to uh, character Top players, yeah. You Top know. players talking that talk. Streaming. Not so much of talk players walking the walk. It's it's an interesting page, and if you're you know a part of the Killer Instinct community and you're not a part of that page, you need you need to join because you're of missing course. out. Because there's drama, there's hype, there's tech, there's giveaways. They give away like you know spinal color codes and stuff like that. Like yes. you know, the, there's no reason not to be a part of that. Yes. If there's you're still Facebook. plenty of content being made for this game, and there's still plenty of traffic for this game you know like I said it's not a dead game definitely very much alive the community is still very active to this day you go online you can get on at any moment honestly at any time the game will be dead when people stop playing it there's still a top 32 known. leaderboard with like hundreds of players in it it's like still playing the game like there's no reason not to play guys internationally known by the way you know having players yeah. uh, in Japan as well as Italy we have Masters. somebody from Singapore here right now exactly <laughs> He's in this room you know, it's, it's just crazy. Shout out to Storm, by the way. Getting uh, some KI boys going on in uh, Singapore. Incredible what that guy does. Oh, yeah, definitely. Incredible. So we got Zenkai, zero player here, versus Latalis. And Latalis is going to go Ram. So I don't know how this matchup goes at all. But I, I can imagine it could be annoying for Ram. But he also has some pretty good reversals that oh, yeah, deal with sure. uh, the air game. So maybe it won't be as bad as I think. Possibly. We'll have to see here. Ooh. And that's exactly what I thought. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little fighting game theory. Yeah, And uh, put into effect. However, Sadira nice. very That mobile. seems like a punish every time. That's going to blow up a lot of Zemkai's uh, offensive approach here. And this Plus is what I was talking about Ooh. Lutalis. Once he gets on you with these characters, he is on you. The swarm yeah, is look on at the you. the damage over time. That's meaty. Okay. Keeps it Keeping short. it short. Yep. Drops the web. Good instinct pressure. Oh, Ooh. wow. The reversal, he is ready like for that I said, every man. time. Plus frames. Zenkai losing some damage over time here. He's ready for that every single time. Yeah. He has been three for three On with that, that Yes, absolutely. Zenkai holding his own, though. Yeah, this is definitely uh -oh. an That's even reversal. Oh, Ben spins the bar. However, as you can see Wow, here, interesting choice for an anti-air, and it ended up working in the long run. For some context, this instinct actually used to be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the nerfed, tame version of the instinct. It is uh, very good. Wow, that didn't chip him out. I thought for sure Zenkai had that round, but 
Well, Lutalis on a, a minuscule pixel here, and he just gets jumped over. So Zenkai holding his own, doing very well. They're both pretty much in the same spot. Similar instinct meters, similar meter meters, shadow right. meters. <laughs> exactly. You I know, can't just, think of the word. Just uh, taking you know, a bit of back and forth here. You know, you get your hit, I get my hit. Yeah. And uh, Lutalis manager. Lutalis has the corner now, though. Oh, Ooh. gets scooped up. Got the dot on him. Damage over time being applied. Plus frames. More plus frames. He's got a web, though. It's going to be a punish. Unbreakable oh, damage. Nice. Smart stuff One there from One chance Zenkai. at the end. Beautiful. No break. All right. Let's right, that out. Opting not to break out there. He was uh, definitely content with taking the damage. Got the web out. He has to be careful. Oh, he gets scooped up. And that this web's is not going to do him any good hurt. now. Hurt. Oh, my goodness. Flip out. No. Meaty. Good blocks from Zenkai. He just has to play patient here. Oh, no. That was not patient. Oh he walked into a my knife. my gosh. And committed seppuku, if you will. And that, that was that. Yeah. So one one chance with the instinct. Yep. And that, that's that's how that went. He walked into a knife. Oh, of course. So Zenkai did really well up until that, that stab. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, that's the, one of the things about General Rom's instinct is that it does add damage over time yes. as it is active. So one of those, you know, don't, one of those kind of situations where Rom has the chance to really hurt you if he touches you, but even without it, you can see he's a he's a brute. This man hurts. Right. Good jump out of the command grab. Zenkai actually being very aware for the most part, I'd say. All right, plus frames. Yep. Great setup for the grab there. General Rom, extremely scary. Beautiful read with the shadow counter. It worked in his favor. Talos caught slipping. Nice. So we have a very even matchup here, guys. This is good. Oh, and a great anti air, but no conversion. Anti air with the what is that back heavy kick? <laughs> when do you ever <laughs> see an air player use that? Good, good showing here from Zenkai, man. This is nice. I like seeing this. Oh yeah, definitely. What now, do we got? Zenkai All right. being delay before smart. the instinct pop. Using those sword normals to break the uh, or knife normals rather to break the web. Very good use of uh, that tool there from Lutalis. Zenkai still has a little bit of instinct to work with. I don't think he's gonna get much off of it now. Oh, wow, finds a straight hit. Nice, nice one chance there. Okay. Oh, it gets broken. Right. Zenkai Lutalis trying said no. to. Oh my and goodness, another anti air. Life. These anti airs been on point for both of these guys. Very solid play from both players, for sure. You don't see Sidira being played like this often, for sure. Right. All right. Zenkai here, not really trying to take any real risk, not trying to be overzealous. He's got to make something happen here, though, because uh, Latalis has the lead. He's got two bars to work with. That's a great anti air option. It does a ton of damage. A lot of people don't know about that. All right, now Zenkai here has a bit of offense. Definitely trying to get started here. Doesn't get the flip out, but he's gonna get the anti air. Ooh, or not? And a great response to the nice. lockdown. He's it's got be meter. Big damage. Wonderful. Really oh, good stuff. From Zenkai. And he gets one Text more the mix throw, up. but he shouldn't go in like this. Oh no! And he gets wow. the kill. Wow. got mixed, I think, by his own instinct. I don't think he was able to see what side Sidira was on. All right, screwed him himself up. He got mixed by his own instinct. Zenkai takes a game. Very nice. I'm curious to see if he continues to play like this, what Letalis is going to do. If he's going to switch? He might. No, he believes in his character. I mean, he won the first game, right? So maybe yeah. he's just going to continue to adapt. This is good stuff, man. I, I love watching gameplay like this. Of course. Good matchup you don't see often. Rom versus Sadira, of all things. Season 1 character versus a Season 3 character. Just goes to show you what we were talking about earlier. Characters that are kind of generally written off in the current meta. Being oh, yeah. shown of still having some viability here. Yeah, absolutely. Sidira's so got some good tools, man. Ooh, plus frames. Yep, on top of more. I like that he chose to get out of that, uh, well, not the unblockable, but the FADC cancel, and he got hit out of the air as opposed to getting hit on the ground for a stagger combo. Right. Probably the better of the two options. Ooh, nice cross-up. All right, instinct canceled. Mix-up city. Oh, wow. wow. That was the, a meaty flip kick. Oh, oh nice but he was ready. Here. The awareness, the awareness from both of these players. The whiff punish on the sweep with the stand fierce. Latalis. That's what I'm saying. The awareness of these of these players right now is, is, is really, really strong. It's incredible, man. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing. All, All right. right. A little bit of neutral here. Waiting for... Ooh. Big whiff on the grab. Got punished. And Latalis, something I've noticed is that he has yet to actually use General Brown's flip out, which is you is it something that you see along amongst yeah, most. Yeah, he doesn't really go General for the Rons. um the breakable stuff on the ground. He just likes to uh, play with you when you're you know after you woke up already because he likes to abuse Rom's good neutral. 
and that stands. Wow, ooh, fierce. that could have been a big punish. That's it. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Big not whiff. Like this. Zenkai can make this happen here. Sadira's damage output and instinct is not a joke. Zenkai's got one shot here to make this work. In front of him. Oh, he should not have done that. Okay, gets the scoop. That's gonna work. Gonna convert? No, no conversion. Throw. Right, but he it does kill. get the health bar. Yes. All right, Zenkai has one bar to work with. He's not. He's definitely not getting another instinct. That guy has to make a miracle happen This here. is a straight, traditional comeback it's here. A whip punish. And he whips it. No, but no punish. It's too far oh. away to grab. No, he's right in range. Wow. Uh. Letalis, good awareness. Just a split second there. That hesitation. Feed. It's one of those situations where, you know, you got to make that call. Do you go for it? Because if you're not aware of the active friends for that move, that could definitely be a, a, a moment there where Letalis can kind of steal a turn as he did there. All right, great stuff from Zenkai. Zenkai baiting the anti-air this time. Great adaptation. Quick rise from Letalis. All right, Letalis going for the tick grab set up here. Doing a great job of staying on Zenkai. Nice jump out of the command wow. grab. Letalis. Got reversal anyway for his troubles. And again, showing good control here. Oh, wow. Big whiff from the shadow counter. Oh, and a scoop the, off the reset. meaty command grab. Oh, he went for the flip out. First time we've seen that all set. Chip will do it, but he just that stand fierce smacks is so him good the, from the knife. Rom. Yeah, it's plus. Good range. Good footsie tool, man. Fast. All right. Just kind of waiting it out here. Latalis Nunitzer, this is when he's most dangerous, when he is playing that very slow, very painful Grindhouse style. Painful is the word I'd use. Yeah, yeah very, painful is the word I'd use. Very so. grindhouse style of play here. Not really oh, giving you much room. Wasn't aware that he could cancel it with meter. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god, he just scooped him is, up. Oh. Anyway, that he is did not need to do that. Okay, again, oh. we're back in this situation here. Zenkai. Got to make something work here. He's on instinct, but he's still got two mix-ups before he's going to get that health bar down. I don't see it happening, man. Oh, wow, but he gets reversal. One. All right, Latas Venator here has over 150% health. Doesn't have to do anything. Flip out. He's going to get anti-aired. Yep, that's oh. going to be the game. I, di I didn't want to give up hope on him, but uh, I'm up, guys. Wish me luck. All right, so we're going to have... Okay, so we are currently going to come up next with Letalis versus Nikki, which is going to be a really strong set there. And then uh, we're going to keep it going here with some more KI. Right here at NEC 19. We thank you once again for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Pretty Boy Jackal. And I will be keeping you guys company here throughout the night as we play ourselves some more Killer Instinct. This is some really good stuff, folks. It's really good stuff. So we're moving forward through the bracket there. That was winner's quarters that you saw. But I'm going to have to play my match here in a second off stream. So I'll be right back with you guys. Uh, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm back. It's Ovis. I am dying. I, I got four hours of sleep. I'm here uh, just exerting my poor guts out just to make this happen. Just to make sure it all flows, that everybody's having a good time. And then I'm going to go back to my hotel room and die. And it'll all, it will all have been worth it. I have to stop, sound out, and not slur my words. This has been a great day. And thank you all for watching. Is Apex not going to get on the mic with me? You want to get up here?
All right, going solo then. It's okay, it could be worse. I could be solo commentating and playing my own match. I have done that in online tournaments. Like self -commentating your own yeah, self-commentating my own match. <laughs> During online tournaments, I have done that. It ain't fun. All right, so the Talos versus Nikki. We've seen this before. These guys are absolute juggernauts in the KI scene. <coughs> I mean, Latalis plays literal juggernauts, but he's a small child. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Just completely shutting down Nikki's feeble attempt at zoning by throwing a rock in his face. Not negative enough for that punish, Nikki. Okay, gets in on him, takes the armor off. Keep him out. That sweep. That sweep. If you're not blocking low, it goes half screen. And it's a projectile. Oh my god, anti airs. Who says Mira doesn't have anti airs? Nikki. Nikki says Mira doesn't have anti -airs. Rolls right into the spiral arrow. The balls on this gigantic hunk of rock and metal. Gets crushed. Gets armor crushed by the heavy. Push him down. Take his life. He's got the, uh, he's got the vampire kiss on him. So what that does at any point, if uh, if Nikki has that gray health on him, the Vampire's Kiss will recover that and also inflict potential damage on Aganos. And that is just really good for him all around. Completely shutting down the tick throw attempt, jab him out, Natalis keeping his life bar and losing it immediately. For those who don't know, uh, Aganos has an armor chunk system where uh, from certain things, he can put armor chunks into himself. This will give him super armor, but also he will lose a rock. Uh, he can also use those chunks to throw rocks or create walls. See, what he did there was he took the bat that he had and stored it inside himself for a piece of armor. And then he took another one that he got and used it to create a wall. <clears throat> and now there's two walls behind Nikki. That is pressure. That is nerve-wracking. You do not want to be back-to-back -back with two walls. Because what Rom can do is he can use a move called Ruin, which is a big Superman punch, which will then smash you through the walls right when I was about to say it. Holy crap. Thank you, Latels, for the amazing timing with my explanation. <laughs> that had to be intentional. <coughs> and every wall crash is like 30% damage extra. It's ridiculous. Jumps right over the bats. Aganos, a short jump, but a very big boy. Okay, blows out the combo. Got him on the heavy. Lock out. Big damage. 52%. Mira, some of the highest meterless damage in the game, if not the highest. All he's got on himself right now. Oh, nope. Okay, spoke too soon. <coughs> I was going to say all he has is a little bit of gray health on him. Aganos can flick all three bats with the right timing. That is incredible. Nikki really wants to get in and restore that life, but he's got to sit back and be patient and throw these bats because otherwise he does not have an option on Aganos. Okay, gets in the spiral arrow, spiral arrow, chips him out with the shadow bats because you can just cancel a special into a shadow move like that. <coughs> Uh-oh. That's it. That's, that's the kind of thing that uh, Latalis is waiting for. Sweep him, and then when he jumps, just go for that perfect anti-air. Shadow Pulverize, Shadow Natural Disaster, the roll, is an amazing anti-air because he's, his hitbox goes super low profile and it recaptures, and it has huge priority. Get the cross up, get on the other side of him. Not really where he wants to be. He's putting himself in danger of that wall. Just phases right through the Shadow Ruin. <coughs> Ready for it that time. All that white life is going to give Nikki a big old damage chunk. T 
tough spot. Tough spot. Just knock him down. Get grabbed. Put in the corner. Hard position either way. No matter what you do, smack through the wall again. Nikki down two games against Latalis. <coughs> now, I've heard tell in the community that this is actually a decent matchup for Agnos, which is amazing because Mira is said to be one of the better characters in the game. But our big rock boy, he has the means to make Mira's life a living hell, as she does to all of us. So one of the quirks about uh, Agonos' armor system is that uh, his armor cannot be taken off of him while he's in the air. He will just take a normal hit in the air uh, like any other character. It won't affect his armor chunks. Smack through the wall. Unbreakable damage, 50%. Straight up punches him on wake up. Nikki feeling the heat. Smacks him, gets the combo. Smart move from Nikki there to open it up with a heavy heavy kick. Because if he hit, then he gets a combo. If he didn't hit, he gets shadow bat pressure. Okay, cross up, tricky cross up, takes a chunk of that armor. Natalis knocks him down with a rock, gets it back. Does not get ticked. There's a prime shadow counter happening right there that could have happened. See, that's, that's the other situation with that. And he's going to keep going for the Shadow Bats, but Latalis not having any of it because Shadow Ruin is projectile and vulnerable. Gets swept. Rough spot. Mira does not have a good answer because Latalis is holding him out. He has meter. He has the opportunity to recapture at any time. Nikki does not feel like he can leave the ground, and he puts a little more health back on himself. That is rough to wake up into that. That is 3-0 for Letalis over Nikki. Wow. How are we doing on bracket? Talk to the people. We're doing okay. Um, I'm going to have Nikki play Sonic Dolphin off stream due to time constraints. Okay. Understandable. And I'm going to have Latalis play bass right now. Right now. Winner's finals. Let's yeah. go. Let's do it. Latalis. We need you back. I would really like a second bass. person on the mic here. Yes. Nikki. Play, play in there. Hey, Fax. Get on the mic. Hey, Fax. You want to commentate? Please. All right. I, I mean, I, w I would commentate, but my uh, my knowledge of this game doesn't extend far beyond That's 26, okay. 2016. That's okay. So, uh, I mean, base versus Letalis, they're probably going to be playing season two characters anyway. Mm -hmm. That's true. Unless uh, Letalis decides to pull out the ROM, but otherwise mm -hmm. he has Agonos and Omen at his disposal. All right. I'm not sure who he's going to pull against base. I'm not sure who base is going to pull because he plays like eight characters. That's true. Well, ha what have we seen today? We've oh seen man, Cinder, seen and we've seen Spinal. Anyone else? I think that's all he's pulled so far. Okay. But he's got, you know, he's got Jago under his wing. He's got Shadow Jago. He's got... That's an interesting oh. point that uh, this whole tournament has gone. And I don't think I've seen a single Jago. Yeah. We're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're very happy to not have to deal I'm with Jago. I'm sure. I'm sure. <coughs> Did I hear Cinder? Oh, which one? Well, there's two here. That, that looks like it has been opened. Yeah. That's been opened. Yeah. This one hasn't been opened. Mike, this one hasn't been opened. Oh, can I get one, actually? Do we have more that haven't been opened? Because I could really use one. I see. Do, we ha do you have any water back there? Mike! You got another water? Please. I just realized I could really use one. Oh, bless. Bless your soul. Commentary, you know, your mouth Thank dries you. out. Thank you. What? Cool. All right, so uh, Latalis pulling out the ROM against Cinder. 
that's my, that might be a little difficult. Would it be any more difficult if you, if you picked Aganos? Maybe. That's the thing, though, the is that... Uh, the, uh <coughs> well, see, the thing is, on Cinder's target combos, he's negative on all but one. <laughs> um, so, like, Rom can come in for that grab if he really wants to. Because that True. starts up in three frames. Okay. Gets a grab on him after the bomb hit's done. Block's done. And this is ju this is where it gets really hard for, for Rom to be because he just gets pushed out by Cinder's firebombs and he doesn't really have great times to move in. He's got a good forward dash. Can't really jump. Okay. Breaks the light. Trailblazer. All right, not even giving him a chance to break the linker. Oh, my God. He could have gotten a little more damage out of that. Did not see the lockout in time. Was already going into the... Okay. Okay. Straight up call out the Shadow Inferno by going into his projectile and vulnerable shadow. Crouching medium punch. Great spacing. Taking advantage of the gap to use emergence. Put, put base down to that one little bit of health where you could chip him out with that, but he gets hit by it anyway. <coughs> Builds him a little instinct, though, with that. Something to watch out for. Jabs him before he can jump. Calls out the fact that base was expecting uh, a grab from that, but just jabs him down instead. Okay, all right. Base leaving space in these, uh, in these target combos. Just enough to say, hey, you know, make a mistake, press a button. Put the fission on him. Burn out the arms. The thing about that is that now Rom does not have access to his openers or his command grads unless he wants to keep building that. But he goes for the shadow emergence, and in that time, the burnout runs out. So Cinder's burnout, what it does is, depending on the ender level, uh, it will prevent... It will, won't prevent, but it'll disincentivize you to use whatever limb, whatever limb button he has burned out. So, Rom has his command grab, and he has his only opener on arm. So, if he burns out arms, you really don't want to do that, because it's going to reset the burnout meter and keep building potential damage for Cinder. But he does it anyway. He accepts the risk, because he knew he was going to get the grab. Oh, my God, no! <laughs> that. There's so much potential damage from that, though that uh, as soon as you saw the lockout, base just took it away. And that is 1-0 for base. That was too much fun. Okay, gets him with the jumping medium punch. Strange choice, but if it works, it works. Okay. Tries to backdash out of the fish and he can't get that done. Oh, grabs him out of the emergence. Emergence, the only thing that's not involved to is grabs. <coughs> Neutral jump over. Too afraid of the bomb explosion. Breakable. Not gonna do it though. The fear of God in that counter break. Gets busted by the bombs. Trying to curl shield cancel. Catches the back dash. Puts the curl on him. Take that. Potential, uh, not potential damage. Real damage. That is gonna hurt. Jabs him out. Has base dropped a game all tournament? I don't know. If I had to guess, probably not. I'm sure he's very happy he did not have to face Nikki and win his finals. <laughs> because that has been uh, consistently one of his harder players to face. Did you say it's like his demon? Maybe. 
think he is a demon. For sure. You ever seen the movie Little Nicky? That's, that's where he comes from. <laughs> Oh, just gotta keep the chip on. Shadow Fission does a lot of chip damage, and that's and that's risky to um, Shadow Counter. It's Im it's impossible to Shadow Counter because by the time the last hit comes out, Cinder's already free to move. Really? Okay. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, Cinder just gets to sit there while the Fission does its ten hits. The one that you can shadow counter, the ones that you can shadow counter are Trailblazer and Inferno. But, oh, just straight up. Oh, follows man. him up into the air with the with the instant cancel from Shadow Fire Flash. Recaps him, and it's over. That is 2-0 for base. I'll be right back. Oh, excuse me. And we're going back to the carriage select for a switch from Letalis. See what he goes to. Oh. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you to Combat Network for putting us on. I can't say it enough. I love this game. I love the people who support it. <coughs> and I always will. Switch to Agonos. This can work out. I'm interested to see what happens. Flick away. Flick away your troubles. Troubles being pyro bombs. Gets hit by the fission. Locks out on the target combo. It's got the arms burn. Tries to go for the sweep. Okay. Breaks out. Oh, that spacing. Shadow counters on the pulverize. It's three hits, except when it's not, sometimes one of the hits whiffs. And it screws me up, personally. That's another shadow counter you can do. That kick. Uh, far heavy kick. Uh, 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 uh. Does not go for the third. Baits that counter break attempt. And that means that base gets a combo and gets the the life bar off it. Ooh. Put him down. Put him What's to that? bed. You won? If, if uh, base wins this, play on screen. Hold him there with the, with the Inferno. That's gonna be <coughs> Shadow Natural Disaster. Not only is it low profile and good anti air, it is also projectile and vulnerable. So he gets to avoid the power bomb explosion and uh, recapture base and take his life. And that's gonna be conversion. Gets the counter break, trying uh, Letalis trying to get through and break that Shadow Trailblazer. It's gonna lead to big damage for base. 54%. That is a lot for Cinder. Put him down. Planet Fitness. Pick things up and put him down. Oh my god. Uh, just missed timing. That overhead, though, is going to mean base gets the grab punish and takes it 3 0. Base now sitting in grand finals. Uh, Letalis going to go down to losers' finals. And it looks like we're getting Para Misery and Zenkai on stream next. So that's going to be Fulgor versus Sadira. Those are the two people I really wanted to play, but I got 
I got slapped by Bass and Sonic Dolphin, unfortunately. That's the way it goes when you enter a 15-man bracket where half of them are absolute murderers. You get murdered. I need to go check on something real quick. Um, shoot. I can't. I gotta be here for the people. Always check your buttons, folks. Always make sure that you got your your uh, punches and kicks where you want them to be. It's important. Mm. All right. Fulgore versus Vera. Let's see it. Okay. Looks like uh, Jackal is going to be joining me back on the mic very shortly. Welcome back. Break that heavy right away. All right, I am out, so I can now talk Stay my on. shit. Okay, I know it's PG-13, so we get at least two of those. No, we we're <laughs> not we're not limited. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Say whatever this you want. This is no longer this is no longer download mode. This is straight observation, mm. talking trash. Absolutely. If you Let's do if it. you're like that, I am definitely trash at this game now because I should not have lost this matchup. But you know what? Shout out to Zen Kai man. Now I hope he doesn't cuck it up and lose to uh, <laughs> this next guy. Paramizer is uh, a really solid full gore. Yes, he is. I remember playing him at uh, CEO mm. earlier this year. Really, yeah. really strong full gore. Shadow counter right through those, uh, right through those normals. Now I will say this though, Zenkai, his decision making with Sadira's air mobility is very interesting. He has a lot of feints that he likes to use, and his anti-airing with the character is amazing. Mm. All day he's been hitting that that crouch, uh, that crouch heavy, it's four, uh, that, four that, heavy punch, or yeah, four, four, heavy, heavy, four punch. heavy kick, yeah, four heavy kick, getting those anti airs clean. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you think he's, I mean, I guess safety is a big concern, but I would think that uh, Recluse would be the more popular anti-air, the big flip kick. Yes, it is definitely an option. However, you know, in a game such as KI, heavy grounded normals do take priority over air normals. That's so true. in that case, if you got the timing, it definitely will be a lot better off to use the heavy normal, get that guaranteed priority. Mm. Whereas with Recluse, you know, Recluse might be a little bit more inconsistent for him. So great stuff from Zenkai here as he takes the first game. Pretty clean. Definitely. Zenkai has definitely been uh, one of those players that's uh, stepped up his level. And this has honestly been the tournament of the the rise of the of the new guard, basically. The changing <laughs> of the guard, so to speak. Uh, of course, you have your normal gatekeepers. Nikki, I wish I could have called Bates. myself that, but I went one and two. Hey, man, it happens. <laughs> And I mean, sure enough, like I'm too dead to function. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting right along there too. I haven't eaten all day. Someone feed me. Fuck. I at least got to hungry eat, boy Jackal over here. Somebody order this man a pizza. Something. I'll send it, accept send chicken. Send it to the Radisson King of Prussia. I'll uh, accept chicken. Bar foyer. We are perfectly okay with that. The Great block strings here. This is Chick Fil A right down the road. Yeah, but I don't feel like walking because I'm lazy. All right, great stuff here from Zenkai. Yep. Good juggle. Get the ants here. Keep that juggle going. It's a nice rhythm that Sadira gets into when she juggles. Oh, yeah, for sure. Her juggle capabilities oh. are really strong, but gets popped in the face here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, nice avoidant on the jump there using the instinct for the freeze frame. Fun fact for the viewers, Sadira does not have a damaging invincible reversal. She has an invincible move that requires meter, but it's just a dash out to the wall. Uh, Shadow Recluse is not invulnerable. Yeah, one of those uh, frame three reversals. Mm -hmm. So if your Miti is it's on It's good. Point. She hides her hurt box really low, but that that heavy punch from uh, Fulgore. Great meaty there from Para Misery. <coughs> Para Misery, that's an awesome tag. Mm. I like that. All right, great stuff there from uh, Para Misery. Off of that. Shout out the break. All right, this is some good stuff here from okay. Zenkai. Like I was saying, you know, using those fake outs with the air mobility, yep. really good stuff there, in and out. A lot of uh, in and out play here. Ooh. One of the only people I see use light, light kunais. You know, and that's what I'm saying. That's it's one of those things like him and uh, Damien. So yep. uh, Calypso. Yeah, Calypso. Yeah, you haven't seen him play in a while, but he also uses a lot of these same uh, intricacies with the character using that in and out play instead of just kind of going in looking for the mix up. Mm -hmm. More so, kind of toying with you, just really kind of seeing where you're gonna go first. Right. Getting you All right. Trying to find camp. out. Oh, no. Gets the shadow counter anyway. Para Misery a little impatient on that overhead reset. And this if, is he such had, a if he had waited just a little bit. All right. Great escape there from Para Misery. Still has a chance here. Gets locked out, and gets that will be game. Out. That is going to be it. Zenkai <laughs> definitely uh, making waves here, trying Holding to carve a path in the bracket here. Mm -hmm. This man's playing KI and Dragon Ball at the same time. He's entered in the Dragon Ball bracket downstairs. Does not seem to be having much of an effect on him at all. <coughs> oh. All right, so we gotta see how how Para Misery adapts here because one thing about him is that. He doesn't. Ha he doesn't have the most tournament experience. Mm -hmm. So, these are the, those kind of situations where the veteran tends to shine because they have a lot more experience and they have the opportunity to adapt a lot better. Just because they they're not as nervous, they're sure. not as tense. Yeah. In this kind of this situation. Oh, that's like. So, Para Misery here, not in a terrible spot. He's got four pips. Reactive speed's pretty slow, but he's working on it. As you can see there, reactive speed going up a little bit here. Gets the fifth pip. But gets locked out. He's got to be careful with those breaks. Sometimes you just got to take it. And Zenkai with the breaker of his own. Again, Para Misery not in a bad spot. We have to see how he responds. This is tournament point. It's tournament life point for him here. If he loses this, he is out. All right, he's got something going here. We have to speed turn in that a, wheel. Takes the hard knockdown. Turn no, the clock. No, no pressure on the hard knockdown. He just gets out. Right. He and knows, and and I see what he's doing here, and I really like it. He's just waiting out the Sadira. No, the, the web stopped the laser. Uh, the web stopped the laser. He couldn't get the confirm. Wow, that is insane. It's rough. Okay, gets him with the uh, cross up. All right, so I have to actually go play another tournament oh, match in Injustice. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, no worries. <coughs> Para Misery doing a really smart move there, waiting out that instinct. Uh, kind of lost track of things for a little bit. I'm, I'm still here. Keep that, keep that juggle. Get the flip out from it. Clean reset. Big damage. We've been saying that's not a hard knockdown. Sadira's damage under is not a hard knockdown. You can quick rise that, and in in many cases, I think you should. But that is a clean three off for Zenkai, and Zenkai is staying on because I believe he is now going to play Apex. Who's he fighting now? Apex. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. Yep. Cool. 
And that's all we have left. And that's and that's that's all she wrote. So we only have that. we only have one match to play at a time right now. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. Yep, yep. I had to run this in kind of a weird order because you know people right. had had yeah, to play other games. There's so much overlap. Everyone. I mean, it's like we're in a great age for fighting games where there's so many great games to play, but it also that means it sucks for TOs because that means <laughs> yeah. people are playing four freaking games, and uh, <coughs> and that means we got to chase people down and. and and you close know, line them and say, play your fucking bracket match. And for those watching at home, for those who don't know about the layout of this of this event, it's a uh, it's in a whole bunch of rooms. Oh, it's so confusing. And it's like we have rooms full of different games, both in an upstairs area and a downstairs area. Yeah. So it's much harder to find people. Yep. There's arcade cabinets downstairs. There's most of the anime games are downstairs. Yeah, and the Smash. main the main ballroom is 3D games. So you got Soul Calibur and Tekken. Taking up all that space, uh, and then in this little room that we have here in front of us has been NRS. Is, is NRS and KI uh, US developed fighting games? Yep, garbage fighting games. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't saying that. No, I won't say that. Hey, we do have great neck about codes. KI. <laughs> um, I want Mortal Kombat 11 to be good. I want them to. Me animate. too, man. I want them to animate good. Okay. You got time. Yeah, that's fine. And Justice is quick. He'll be back. Yep. Uh, man. Yeah, and then, like, there's a bunch of other little rooms. I know. Uh, Marvel has its own room. Yeah, Marvel's in there. Um, Melty uh, Blood's probably in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen them. You know. You know, squatting behind their car. They, they lurk around. <coughs> That's what Melty Blood needs more than anything is a switch port. So that yeah. way you can just, you can just hook your shit up. That's a great idea. <laughs> then, then you can truly be anywhere. And like the Smash community is now flexing on That's the Melty true. Blood community because they can do that. I saw a picture where they, a guy had a switch like under the divider of two bathroom stalls and there was one guy in one stall and one guy in another and they were playing a Smash match. Wow. Yeah. That's the future. Seriously. I mean... <laughs> For every other game, you gotta like you know organize. Well, who's bringing a setup? Are you yep. bringing a monitor? Yeah, Are you yeah. bringing a console? But nah, huh. just like pull out your switch yep. and like let's go anywhere. Anywhere, anytime. When you're going to Denny's, yep. Play some matches. Yep. It's great for sure. Apex versus Zenkai. That's right. Sadira versus Rash. Two characters that never touch the goddamn ground. That's true. Get out of there with that medium break. Oh my gosh. He's getting these single jabs. He's not taking the hit confirmed for it though. Man, this is why I told him to come play footsies with me. The game, footsies. Goes past him with that medium kick. Recap. Take the damage. Smack him with them cleats. So is there a clear winner in this matchup? Or is it because uh, they play so similarly, it's like it's it's very much like Well the, the the fact that they're both in the air a lot is pretty much where the similarities start and stop. Right. They both have very different ideas of what they want to be doing. Like <coughs> Rash has the Spider-Man dashes. He can do an eight-way tether dash wherever. Or right. like a like a uh, bionic arm. Spencer. Spencer. I completely forgot his name. I just blanked. <laughs> Bionic Guard. That's what people know that's, him That's, from. yeah. Nice, uh, get, going for a recapture here, or is this just a job? I was, oh, I was expecting a flip out, but he goes straight for the bike recap. Uh, oh, that's so dirty. And that's why he's the rash player and I'm not. Straight up call out after that instinct pop. He says, I think you're going to press a button. Just I'm going to use Shadow Boot. Just showing Zenkai absolutely zero respects. Zero mercy. His cameos are killing me. Oh. And there we go. Decisive. Decisive. Supreme victory. Do people uh, land ultimates in tournament usually? Only if they're really feeling disrespectful. Because mm. I, I know they were added. There's only 15 characters that got them. Right. Well, 16, technically, because Shago already had one. Right. Um, 
neither. Oh, Sadira does have one. Oh, this is confusing. This is why we need to turn off the in-game names, because this is Apex's Xbox. Oh, I see that. Uh, shit. I should have shut it off. I should have. Well, Whatever. we know that Apex does not play uh, Sadira. Sadira. He's been yeah. playing Rash pretty much all tournament. Yep. He's been playing Rash ever since he was a little frog himself. <laughs> This is... Okay. Alright. Someone finally goes in. Well, they're b they've been playing air footsies the whole time. Yeah, they have. They've they been putting a little ground pull footsies, too. Get that, get that uh, flip out. Sadira, even though she's a very aerial-focused character, she was one of the few characters to not receive a recapture. And she didn't even have flip outs uh, for a considerable part of Season 3. She only got them four or five patches in. Um, until then, she just had to cope with having decent air juggles that she would have to end or reset from eventually. Wow, using the kunai to break the armor and then just uh, widow drop right through it. Right through the wrecking ball. Still gets recaptured because of that medium widow's bite oh, sensor wow. flying backwards. He's just controlling the airspace, like absolutely dominant. Heavy's one that sends back with my bet. Oh, and the reset into recapture. Oh, man. Grab. So, Rash's grab becomes a lot more powerful uh, in instinct because that means while he's holding you, he can just hold you up and walk around with you a little bit. Kind of like Donkey Kong's cargo <laughs> throw. A little bit. Um, but it's meant to be an homage to you know what he does in the arcade games. Right. But while he's an instinct and he's, and he's holding you, he can also call a bike. So that way, when he's ready to throw you down, uh, you hit the bike and you get recapture. And you get and you get a full combo. Yep. If they don't break. Yeah. By the time he's picked you up, it's too late. The the bike recapture itself is unbreakable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're almost done. We're we're in like we're almost in top four. Yep. We'll get there. Ooh. Bring that light. Nice anti here. Ready to get in Apex's face. Push him down. Apex waking up jabs. He's starting to adapt a little bit more. Absolutely. Now, very you nice said that uh, I think I overheard Zenkai is a very new player to KO. Uh, not so much. Zenkai's been playing, I think, since Season 2. Okay. Um, but... Uh, Jack he's, was saying he's something a, about the new blood. He's someone who's experienced... Like, it took him a little longer to, to grow, but he's hit a stride recently, and he's he's grown a lot I in see. recent times. And that's what we're kind of seeing a lot of here. Get smacked out of that Shadow Recluse. No, it's not Recluse. I'm getting the names of the specials wrong. <laughs> it's okay. Yep, you can punish that. Gets Ooh, the counter break. Nasty. Maximum damage. Oh my god. Maximum effort. And it hits him with the jumping roundhouse. That's crazy. Run right through that web. Don't let it keep you down. Oh my runs right god. into the overhead. Run up overhead. Push no him down. Respect. I don't know. His animations are just disrespectful in general. Oh, they absolutely are. I mean... His, his limbs morph into axes and clubs. Yeah. And oh he goes for it God. again. Second one in a, in a row. This is going to give Apex back his life lead. Going to put Sadira in the corner. And the lockout. Damn. Very nice. That was the first like nice. blow up we've had in quite a while. Every match has been down to the wire, but Apex just ran I got, through I that. got blown up. What are you talking about? Well, that was, that was a while ago. <laughs> that was a while ago. Oh, it doesn't count anymore. No, it does count. It's just the matches that I've seen have been other matches. Okay. So we got it. No disrespects. Oh, uh, no, I'm just tired. I'm yeah, not upset. I, I feel you. Yeah. I'm not upset so at all. I know that if I had actually gotten a pr an appropriate amount of sleep, I wouldn't be so fucking dead. I feel you. No one ever sleeps at these events. Dude, the first time I came here, first year, two years ago, I actually did not sleep at all. Oh, my the God. Day. I, I Were you could like not fall asleep. hallucinating by the end? Uh, maybe. Oh, man. It That's a, crazy. It was a nightmare. Was this NEC? Was it NEC? Yeah, it was NEC 17. Okay. I'm just going to close my eyes for a sec. 
while, yeah, uh, sure. while we get the next sure. matchup. Uh, we're supposed to have Aphex again versus yeah, Nikki. Yeah, versus Nikki. Uh, I know. Oh, fuck, so on. that's the only match we have uh, at the moment. But the longer that we take, the less time Injustice has on stream. Yeah, and we're all supposed to run Mortal Kombat uh, top three yeah, as yeah. well. Uh -huh. So let me go look for Nikki. Maybe. Oh it, god. Maybe he might be not in a match. Right mm -hmm. now, so. I'm a very tired boy. Yes. Oh man. How y'all doing tonight? You having fun? I hope you're having fun. This is a labor of love. These events always are. We'll, we'll take a moment to show our sponsor as well. Absolutely. Uh, Let me talk about these sponsors. Oh, my Get God. Get some adorable hoodies from the human shop, humans.com slash shop slash Techie. Code Sparkle for 10% off and free shipping. Defend Amazing. The North is in Manhattan. This Every year, year, man. Defend it, the North it's, 2019. It's been in White Plains oh, for has the it? last three years. Oh, they're moving to New York now. Now they're moving I, to I'm mistaken. Sorry. Manhattan. Don't listen to me. We got Kanba. We got these uh, very nice um, yeah. sticks, sticks and bags. And we got the bags. crystal, the obsidian, the drone. The Guardian bag is fantastic. It's wonderful. I have not had the pleasure of owning one. I own one. But uh, I have heard nothing but good things. And if you use code NEC, you get 10% off. We also them. have the Smashbox. Which Hitbox, is an official partner, an official sponsor of NEC this year. Uh, their Smashbox is designed for Smash. And we also and it's have beautiful. Winter Brawl 3D. Winter Brawl coming up in a couple months. Which is uh, Winter Brawl has always been a staple FGC event in the yes, East Coast, indeed. but it's been uh, one of changed. our favorites. It's been changed a little bit. They're only running 3D games there. Oh, that's they're why it's called Winter Brawl 3D. Exactly. That makes sense. They are running. Um, so they're running like Mortal Kombat Deception, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if, <laughs> Mike, if Mike goes to that tournament, they're gonna yeah, run he'll bring it. MK Deception. Absolutely. He'll run any random old MK game. Should, you guys should. Uh, hey, Winter Brawl, if you're listening, uh, play Balls 3D. There you go. <laughs> the SNES Classic Balls 3D. You know what's actually a pretty hype game? What? The um, the versus mode of MK Shallon Monks. Yeah? It's very broken, Yeah. of course, since it's basically a 3D action game, but versus. So, like, mad characters have infinites, but it's fun. You guys should get uh, the, the versus mode from Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That had a versus mode? It did. I know the. Uh, it was garbage. Episode three had a versus mode. Yeah. Uh, so we got do the do the versus mode from Lego Star Wars. There you go. Yeah. N Nikki versus Apex. That's a 3D game I'd play. There you go. Get a Kirby Air Ride City Trial. That's my favorite 3D fighting game. I think they actually run that at mystery game tournaments at Combo Breaker. I believe it. Uh, I, I want it that. to be the Kirby Air Ride Hack Pack where you can increase the amount of time. Oh my god. To like half an hour. Crazy. So Nikki versus Aphex, former teammates, former Circa teammates, Nikki and Aphex. These two are no strangers to each other whatsoever. And this is top four. Winner it of this indeed. plays Latalis. So either Nikki will get his run back versus Latalis. He will get his chance to maybe not play a bad matchup. Maybe yeah. he'll pick Fulgore this time. Oh, my goodness. And Neither of them hit with those shadows. Uh... Apex just getting out of range of that shadow teleport. Catch that back dash with the tongue. He really has locks out of mediums. excellent control over Rash. It's very impressive. Like mm -hmm. his, his movement's very precise. He's not really. That's one of his. That's one of his favorite things to do. Though is, is just jump full height and wrecking ball. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he kind of put himself in the corner by doing that, though. Yeah, that's that's the hard part about it. Nikki teabagging on him. These two. Again, no strangers, so they will ham it up for us and show us a good time. Nikki in his classic Stormtrooper retro outfit. Mm -hmm. And uh, Apex, of course, oh, he cannot help but pull out Rainbow breaker. Rash. But that, that did not work out. Well, that worked out. Mm -hmm. avoids, avoids the overhead entirely by going for Shadow Teleport. Ooh. And put him down. 
Well, see, the thing is, you want to hold on to Fulgore for as long as possible because he's an instinct. You want to run that down. That's true. That's smart. Can he make this comeback? He's got a full stick of butter. And he's resetting him over and over. I've forgotten that we're now using that as a term for for 100% meter, a full stick of butter. That's how I always refer to it. And I oh only heard God. it recently. Apex pulling this back. Cannot... Mm. Oh, Nikki. Oh, my goodness. God. And that's it. Oh, my goodness. Gets the overhead. Nikki locks out on the medium. Oh, my God. And Apex absolutely... Apex just gave Nikki a look. Yeah. I mean, you all know you all know the look and what that look looks like. What about it? Oh, yeah. You're drooping. Oh, you're course. like... You're... Uh, I'm droopy. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a PSA for microphone erectile dysfunction <laughs> after the break. <coughs> it's a there's a small issue with the Audio Technica mics. I'll talk about it later. I seem to be be okay now. Sweeps under that DP. Back dashes the overhead. Mickey really desperate for that overhead. He, he just did it twice. God Take damn. that trade. Take that trade off the boot. Hit him with the axe kick while he's falling down. Apex seems to be getting into Nikki's head like pretty hard right now. Mm. He's just having fun. Oh, it doesn't even matter. He's already ready to block by the time he, uh, by the time Nikki comes at him, chasing him down. But again, putting himself in the corner like that is a risky move. Oh, and he hits him with the overhead, and this is going to take his life bar. Hmm. And also running out his instincts. Yep. Doesn't have much left, but he had just enough. Just enough sauce for one more bike. And the reset with the tr triple Double, overhead. Triple overhead. Well, actually, the tongue doesn't hit overhead. Oh, no? No. Okay. Nikki going high-low. Oh goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Wow. Is he gonna end it right here? It seems He like. will. He can. He does. He is the T rash. <laughs> the rash god. <laughs> Vicky looking relatively unfazed. Maybe contemplating a character change. I can't read his mind, folks. Nope. Going right back into it. Not even a moment to breathe. Oh, he's 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 doing the absolute confusion though. Apex laughing it off, those triple teleports, and then just DPing out of it. Waits out the DP. Put him down. Back dashes the meaty. Nikki pushing back. Is that is that a trade? Just trade. Apex doing what we talked about on Thursday night, using that heavy punch, uh, rash and stand heavy punch hits twice. So there's about a nine frame gap. If you meaty the first hit, if they try to back dash, they'll get hit by the second hit. Oh wow! So and he makes that safe with the bike. Huh? Makes it safe with the bike. And he's doing. Uh, like and then he uses he was... the bike to shut down the teleport. Uh, how long can Rash hold on to? Yeah, how long can he do the cargo throw? Um, that's about a second. Okay. It's about a second that you can hold him in the air. Okay. Teleports. DPs him. Catch him in the air like that. Fulgore's forward heavy punch is the same principle as Rash's standing heavy punch. You meaty the first hit, and the second hit will hit if they try to backdash. Oh. No punish. Can't punish it. Nope. That's brutal. Yep. And that. 3 0. That was 3 0 to Apex. Apex is now in the money. Very strong showing. It's only top three payout? I believe so. Dang. I mean, there was only... Um, That's understandable. 15 people. Yeah. I thought it might be top four payout. It, it might be. I'm not 100% sure. That's This is just an assumption of mine. 
Oh, don't catch me yawning on camera. Nah, you're good. Uh, fuck. Mm. Sorry you have to see that, folks. I am dying. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. My day started at 6 a.m. Oh, my God. Because that is when I woke up and was unable to fall back to sleep. It's that adrenaline that you get at these times. It's, I'm trying. Thank you for running this bracket. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Thank you for... Because, I mean, there have been times where, like, I have been the everything man. I have mm -hmm. been the one running the bracket. I've been the one playing. Uh, I've been the one trying to commentate and run the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, that was me at Guts 4. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was... I, I was doing everything. And I still got fifth out of, like, 22, 26. Nice. Time. I mean, I mean, for me, running brackets is fun because it's like it gives me something to do at mm -hmm. these majors, mm -hmm. and sometimes like the casual setups can be a little bit limited. Yeah. So running brackets, you know, gets me involved. You know, gets me like interact with the community, and you know, for sure. it's it's very satisfying getting a bracket done. I need to I need to get up and stretch my legs for a minute and check yeah, out something. Sure. I'll be right right back. All right, so I will be solo commentating for now. This is Losers Finals. We have Aphex versus Letalis Venator. Venator. Either either one. Um, Aphex has both good. Yeah, but yeah, both are good. Uh, Aphex definitely has the um, the momentum going right now. Uh, winning two matches. He he's won six straight games on stream, but Letalis has also been pretty dominant this tournament, only losing a base, and it seems like Letalis uh, has momentum going on right now. Ooh, he just uh, busted through that shadow counter, and, he, and now he has him in a very tight corner right now. Think about Aganos, man. He can just make corners. Yeah. He doesn't have you in the corner. He'll put you there. Don't worry. You'll get there. And now he has a setup. And now, if he hits him, the concern is the wall. He has the wall behind him. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there by Latalis. He could have actually used one of his enders to give himself more armor chunks, and he still would have killed. Oh man! Now Look he at this has a comfortable sandwich. You know, Rash is all about the mobility, but you know. He can just take all that mobility that away just by like perfect cornering anti -air. him. Oh, this is gonna. Oh my goodness. The reset. This is gonna do a Who's lot. Who's the grab reset instead of just punching him through the? There it is. Oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Two hits, 43 percent. Yeah. Good grief. Wall crashes are worth about 25 to 30 percent each time. Unscaled? Uh, a, a little scaled. If you hit through four walls, you're doing like 80 percent. Right. Yeah. I remember that. Yep. I remember watching KI World Cup, and I think Letalis landed that one. It was either Letalis or I think it was Leo. Okay. Uh, I remember the crowd going absolutely like Yeah, it was like three or four walls, and everyone lost their shit. Absolutely oh, no, it was, it was Leo at EO, EVO 2016. Oh, okay. He hit it there. Maybe Letalis at the World Cup. I don't remember. Oh, that pressure. Oh, and he whiffs the sweep. Like, seemed that. like right in front of him. It's always a rough time for Aganos when he uh, gets natural disaster blocked. Oh my god, just overheads him right out of the uh, the pulverize, the blender. Wow, excellent shadow counter there. What's the, uh, the big boot on block? Because it seems like it's going unpunished a the lot. The big boots... Uh, it's different for each strength. I can't remember. Because that's like a DP, seems like, and it's going. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? Oh, it's, it's kind of a DP. I'm surprised. That actually probably should have been a ruin from uh, from the Talus. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, so while Agonos has a club in his hand, uh -huh. whether it's from his instinct or if he like Just generates one, one from a wall. Um, his grab becomes a command throw. Interesting. So it's untackable. Right. Um, that's scary. And if there's a wall when he throws you, he will. That's just, he will that's just so baseball much bat you through the fucking wall. That's crazy. 
So you can you can get unteckably thrown through a wall in very rare situations. Very interesting character. You know, shout outs to Keats and everybody at Iron Galaxy. Like going going really outside the box with these character designs. Agonos is about as outside the box as you can get. Definitely. And there's never gonna be another character like him. Not quite. Even in a new KI. Like they're gonna do something differently. It's not gonna be the same. I mean it's a good IP that Microsoft is just like kind of they're sitting squatting on. on. Yeah. Yeah. There's been some rumors about something happening in 2020. I don't want to put any more like hype behind it than just stating that there is a rumor. Because I don't I don't uh, want to build people's expectations yeah, up. What are Iron Galaxy doing right now? Nothing. Are they just like working on ports? So they are a porting house. They are. Uh, they recently was it wasn't Skyrim. Skyrim on the Switch. Was it, I believe it was, was Skyrim. Okay, yeah, they did do Skyrim on the Switch. <coughs> um, yeah, Keith said that uh, he doesn't want to do fighting games anymore. I understand being as open with the community as they were kind of soured him. Nice mm. anti-air on that. And Lutalis has been quite dominant yeah. right now. Uh, Apex doesn't isn't playing nearly as e as confidently as he was against uh, Nikki. It's tough when you're when you're a character that wants to be in the air, but you're facing down a giant hulking hulking mass of metal and stone. Oh, oh this is gonna do a lot. It's gonna hurt. It's not gonna kill. Oh, it is. Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh, 49 percent. 49 percent. Um. Outside of wall crash, Agonos technically doesn't have a damage ender, so his best ender is his hard knockdown, which is what you saw there. Armors through the boot, hits his face against them. Oh my god. Okay. Good anti air. Oh, and it whiffs. Does not. No punish. Come down. Put him against the wall. That's gonna be rough. That's not where you want to be. There it is. Oh, Push him no. down. And his health bar just disappeared. Yep. Heavy uh, heavy payload assault is that throw the rock, punch it, and make a shotgun. And then just smack him through the Kaboom. wall. Boom. It's over. And base oh. is getting ready. He's getting his controller, and he's walking on up. We are ready for grand finals. Yeah. Whew. Good showing from Apex and losers finals. Very well done. Yeah, he gets a bit of money. I think. Yep. Even better. The other big mystery in the community is what happened to the remaining money from what was called the Kilgore Fund, which is where for a certain period of time Kilgore cost ten dollars, where five dollars would be for the character and five dollars would go into a pot. For I do remember that. Um, I think I I think I bought I think that. About all but ten thousand dollars of it has been used and it's been radio silence. So, like, I think uh, Combo Breaker and CEO both had big old pot bonuses helped out by that. But since then, it's been uh, silent. There was supposed to be another KI World Cup. Plans for those seem to have fallen through. We That's don't know what's going on. Well, when did they stop uh, balancing this game? When did they Man, stop? like a year ago. Like a year ago? Okay. There have been bug fixes since. But other than that, it's been, it's been, it's been silent. It's been nothing but silence. Yep. I see. 3.9 was the most recent patch. I see. Or 3.9 was the last. Well, like, I, I hope I hope patch. you guys hear something soon. I hope so too. I hope we hear it like E3. I hope we don't have to or, wait until or, 2020 for an announcement. Or even like Combo Breaker, because I, I know Combo Breaker is a big event for you guys. It is. Like it is. Guys, it's our Evo. It's like us and Skullgirls and Vsav. Mm -hmm. Live at Combo Breaker and NRS because <coughs> that's like in, that's in their backyard. Yep. Um, yeah, I know they get they get big help from the Injustice Two Pro series and all that. And we'll see here we are, we'll Grand Finals, the real stuff. Base versus Letalis. And this is a rematch from Winners Finals. It. We're base. Is? Yes. Oh, I thought it was Nikki versus Base Grand uh, Winners nope. Finals. I'm wrong. Damn, I'm trying to catch that uh, counter break early. No, Nikki and Base did not play each other this tournament. Wow. They were on opposite sides of the bracket, and they got 
they put they got um Nikki got put into losers by Letalis before right. he got to play Nikki. Wow. So So Let Let Letalis denied the Nikki base uh, match. There's a lot of history with that match, isn't there? There is. For sure. That's a full-blown punish right there. Run it? right up. Yeah, no, block natural disaster is, is a disaster for Aganos. <laughs> <coughs> All right, he's, natural. Getting, he's getting two rocks. Yep. So the level of ender that Aganos uses with, with that ender specifically determines how many chunks he gets. If right. he gets a level four ender, he gets four chunks. Right. Which is, it slows him down a lot, but it gives him four hits of armor. And it also gives him four walls. Yes. Well, it gives him the opportunity to make four walls. Right. Oh, and he spinal breaks the wall. Ooh, oh, and he catches nice the to teleport. Back. He still gets hit. Put him down. Keeping his distance. Good breaker. Very close match. No teleport mix up. Base just blocking straight low. Both have Fireball. full meter. Next, not broken touch. Takes it. Oh, that should. That's gonna do, do it. Do it, yeah. That's gonna do it. If he hadn't had that meter, you wouldn't have been able to close it out. Right. right. With right. the with the shadow soul sword, it was enough to put him in danger zone. There's one for base. Base needs to win two more. Vitalis needs to win six. It's a long road. It's a long road. And base it's, is it's a very uh, it's a very traversable road though. It can be done. It's traversable. But and, and base base is no joke though. Yeah. For very dominant player for, base, for many years. Base, arguably one of the biggest pillars of our community, has been running a YouTube channel, putting up long sets with every player you could imagine. To this day. To right? this day. To this day he still puts them up. Not with the same frequency, I don't think, but yeah, he still puts know. them up. Things have slowed down a little bit yeah. for you guys. Yep. One of the one of the biggest blows, I think, was the loss of our, our big online tournaments, like eight beat eight bit beatdown. I remember that. Those mm -hmm. those were a lot of fun. There was a lot they of character were. variety but, in those tournaments. I mean, Zombie came out at one point and said just how draining it was for him. And I understand. I I've tried imagine. to run online tournaments, and it's just it is stressful. Arguably, uh, well, I don't want to say more stressful than a than an offline major, but it's. It's rough. Thank you. And I fully oh, understand thanks. and want to take a break. But we're here. Letalis switching back to... Or switching to Rom. Backdash away from that grab. Punish with the heavy punch. Heavy punch. The footsie button. says no to that whatever it was either going to be a run cancel grab or a run cancel button but Rom says no I'm going to grab you and that's the end of it is it, is it run oh falls for the cross through Back dash is the command grab. You can tell base was thinking, he's putting himself in, in the right spot for that. I'm just going to dash back. Thank you. Chick-fil-A waffle fries. A I delicacy know. I do not get to experience often. No, me neither. I know it's kind of unprofessional to eat while compensating. <laughs> Folks, this stream itself is the very definition of unprofessional. <laughs> We're not even on the schedule. Okay? Hey, now. I'm I'm just saying the facts. They left us off the schedule. We're still professionals, so. though. Okay. Fair. Apologies. Well, you get paid in water, but you get the point. And Red Bull. I got paid in experience, baby. Yeah, there you go. Oh, jeez. Okay, just blocking all these overheads. Base making no attempt to go low on him. There it is.
I'll take that big old curse. Stomping on him. Stomp on him, but you do it enough, you know, people start to, to recognize. And, oh, wow. and the thing about ROM stomps, you know, normal breaker system, you got light, medium, heavy. When ROM stomping on you, you got two options, light, medium. Right. There's no heavy stomp. You're either getting flipped out with the light or you're getting ground bounce with the medium. And now it looks like base is going to be counterpicking here because Letalis just won that game. Right. Mira. Fair enough. That. Not what I would have expected. Okay. No. I'm, I got plenty of drinks. So I could be mistaken. But I could have sworn. No. No, this isn't a good matchup for Rom. Oh, no. Definitely not. I used to play Rom. No, I, it's good uh, for Agonis, though. I remember talking to, to Vitalis about his characters against Mira. And I couldn't remember briefly which one was the good one, but it's Agonos. This one's going to be hard. Any, like, high mobility character, I bet it's, I bet it's tough for Rom. Um, yeah, anyone with high mobility or anyone who creates distance. And uh, Mira's kind of both. Yeah. I think I think this is the first time I've seen Bases Mira. It comes out online sometimes. I think this might be the first time I've seen it in an offline set. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, he he's already jumping. Completely whiffs that command grab. Yep. It's a lot of potential damage on on base though. If if uh, Letalis can get some of that, get a little bit of that cheddar. Got a bag. God. This is, uh, seems quite decisive right now. Who says Mira doesn't have anti airs? But then again, Rom is one of those characters that can just come back and do like 100% combos. Absolutely. Both these characters can. Yeah. Um, but they both need a fair amount of resources to do it. Mira needs one good counter breaker and she can take 80% without meter. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sacrifices it for she She health, has though. to, yeah, she has to use some of her health to do it, but you still, you get 80%. That's crazy. You got to recover like 30% of that of your, of your gray life, but you get 80%, you guys. Do you understand? Yeah. So is Letalis gonna go back to uh, Aganos at this point, or is he got know. someone I else? I feel. There you go. Yeah. All right. So this whole thing has just been a been a counterpick it's, yeah, war. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a big old counterpick war. Uh, we'll see whose favor it ends in. Because you know, if Letalis wins this one, that just means Base can switch back to a character he's good with and mm -hmm. take the game three. And he's on tournament point right now. He sure is. Ow, rubbing my eyes just hurt a lot. It's a seasoning from the fries. No, it's because I'm so goddamn tired. Nah, I feel you. We're basically going to see a repeat, a, a repeat of what happened with Nikki. I think base plays mirror a little different. You know, there might there oh, might nice be some light variations, but I think Letalis is very familiar with how to play against this character, mm -hmm. and he can make it look. Flicks him out of the air just now. Mm -hmm. Watson the thing the about air. Flick, it's a light move. It doesn't have high priority, mm -hmm. but it's fast. Very fast. And it hits very high. Nice air to air. And if I remember right, Agonos' light attacks are not affected by his chunks at all. They don't change in speed. There you oh, go. Oh, good shadow that counter. that shadow counter. Uh, Mira's heavy punch. It's always two hits, and they're always really far apart. Oh my oh! god. <laughs> the absolute call out on that. And he gets the four chunks. That was beautiful. What a display. 
full on. Okay, he just takes three bats now and loses three of those chunks. <coughs> Not having that mist form shit. There you go. Just Shadow Ruin right through his lame attempt at Shadow Bat Pressure. Throw him on the ground. And this put a chunk this on. This three pick of Agnos is really working out in the South's favor. I need to stop saying absolutely so much. I've been saying that a lot. I'm sure people are like saying it in chat. I've been saying I feel that all night. Mm. Uh, uh oh. Alright, that's a health bar down. Use the bar meter to guarantee it without having another break chance in there. Respect that. Oh, he gets the bat that's out. That's gonna be it. You get that target combo. Oh! Smackdown. Brutal. Is base gonna go back to spinal? I don't know. He might. He might go to something else, like Cinder. And there he goes. We'll see. Right to character select. Absolutely. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Part of this because I'm tired. I'm just, my vocabulary is suffering as a result. I'm very sorry, folks. I'm going to take a nice nap I'm after gonna, this. Man, I really want to, but i got to check out of my hotel room tomorrow at 11. Oh, jeez. You know? Like, I didn't book a day until Monday. Mm. I, I just said, okay, Sunday, check out of the hotel room, come here, and then drive home. Oh, and he's got the... Uh, got the, the prehistoric gear. Dino Spinal. Dino Spino. Potentially the last game of Grand Finals, unless uh, Letalis can pull a fast one. And coming up after this, we have MKX Top 3. Yes, sir. So, if you're an MK fan, stick around. Whiffs that, mistimes that overhead. Ooh. Go in on him. That little ambiguous Does one chance. Not give a shit about your spinal. Single roll. Push him down into the sand. Like you're a mean kid at the playground. Ah, oh, very nice. Let's sweep him down. Had to he sacrifice to a rock for that. Yeah. He's sitting in no chunks right now. But a pretty healthy life lead. Yeah. It it brings me great comfort to know that these amazing players will also fall for the same stupid low skull cross through uh, ambiguous timing uh, well there's that low old, projectile there's that old Alex Valle like philosophy was that to play the most effectively you gotta play two thirds smart and one third dumb so for every two smart actions you make in a game you gotta make one, one dumb, dumb action. Yeah, okay. I like that. Because if you play too smart and too carefully, like, you know, people can take advantage of that. Yeah. Like, if you're playing too respectfully, like, people can walk all over you. So you gotta, you gotta take those risks. And Agano seems like a character who takes nothing but gets risks. gets hit by that sick. Those, Same those run, too. cancel, grabs. It's like we're playing MKX. Yeah. Spinal is one of two, three characters of the run cancel. Oh, fully uh, breaks that. No, nah, two, and they both need a resource. Spinal and uh, Idol. Both, right. have a, both have a run cancel that they require a resource for. Right. Idol yeah, well you can. can also use it to jump cancel. Right. So not only are we playing MK, we're also playing Guilty Gear. And Letalis resets Letalis the bracket. Letalis resets the bracket? Good shit. So, more KI coming your way. Back to zero. A few more games. We got your attention for just a little bit longer, folks. Play this game. It's beautiful. It's sick. The Steam Holiday Sale should be coming up soon. So if you're a yes, sir. If you're a PC player, this game usually goes on sale for pretty cheap. The Steam version is a little bit less active. Um, if you can find a sale on the Definitive Edition on the Windows 10 store,
that has that's probably the most optimal. That has full crossplay. Steam is only missing crossplay with ranked. I see. But that's where a lot of people spend their time. Uh, definitely the place to be if you're going to be playing on PC. And you should play on PC also because the load times are so much better. They're you very guys, nice. You guys have seen like 30 second match loading times here. It's an instant on, on uh, PC. Maybe one day these tournaments will switch to PC, but there's a lot of logistical issues I gotta get There's a lot of first. problems. I'll tell you what isn't a problem though, stick compatibility. I had someone come in here with a PS4 stick and they couldn't play on the Xbox One version. Oh, geez. And I said, here, hook it up to my PC. And it worked. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> Sometimes Metallus. there can be driver issues. Mm. It's gotten it's gotten much rarer now that Steam has widespread control support. True. Oh, the low crush on that forward heavy kick. But totally you know what else, you know what else that is pretty slide. rare is the uh, is the um, oh, I totally fucked up that segue. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, and that's death. And that's, that's death. That's just I, a I raw was, grab. I was going to say, round. you know what else is rare is is a uh, base missing a break, but. <laughs> There you go, plant a flower on them. Put a flower on that thousand year old skeleton's grave. I mean, he's a skeleton, he's gotta go to sleep. He's held up amazingly well for a thousand year old skeleton. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, lifts the grab and he grabs back. Wall it has a wall up mm. and a chunk. No punish on that slide. That slide is at least minus nine from spinal. Absorbs oh. power devours that bat. That was nice. That was quick too. Oh, neutral jumps to grab, full punish, and he but he breaks it. Getting that run cancel combo extension. And he has a yellow skull on him. The yellow skull will prevent him from gaining instinct. And as you can see, he's just barely not there. Oh, that's so you'll, that know, you'll know that he has instinct available when you actually see the word instinct appear under the portrait. Right. But if it's not there, that means he doesn't have it. That's always so frustrating. It's very close, though. Okay, no frost at that time. Okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah, all right. Get that meaty, not meaty, but uh, light kick will recover in time to uh, for for Letalis to block that attempt at a reversal. There we go. Make that sweep safe, slide safe. Spinal is one of the few characters in this game who does not have a sweep. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the slide. Yeah. Um, and he has no other way of doing it. Like Arbiter has a sweep, but it's crouching medium kick. Right. Um, because his heavy kicks are guns. Are the, yeah, the, the guns. Gun, the gun normals. Um, and for Agonos, his sweep is really his only viable low. <coughs> Gets him with the overhead. One to one. This is a very close grand finals. Mm -hmm. This could go all the way to game 10. Oh my god. I'm so glad I didn't need to bust out my recording setup. I'm so glad this was able to happen. Yeah. But I'm glad I brought it just in case. Oh no, goes to the open render. Testing base to see if he'd let him get away with it. Yeah. Just breaks the armor straight up. And goes to the run cancel grab. Puts him. That puts him way in the corner, deep. Well, what I've always found interesting about Ki is that it's one of the only 2D fighting games that utilize the wall, mm. like have the wall be like a tangible thing. Yep. Not not a whole lot of other 2D fighting games do that. Yeah. People, so people are speculating that MK11 might utilize the wall, judging from the CG trailer Maybe. and one of the developers saying that uh, that the um, the game, the 
what you saw in the CG trailer is very indicative of what the actual game's going to look like. Yeah, but I we'll saw see. that. We'll, we'll I'm, I'm really curious as to what that means. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the way KI uses the wall, some some fighting games use it in a way that like you can hit somebody and they'll bounce off the wall and they'll like ricochet. Right. But in KI, they they get smacked into the wall and they like are stunned while that happens. Yeah. And that kind of makes up for the fact that KI doesn't have actual stuns, like no Street Fighter or Guilty Gear style stuns. Right. Um, we have wall splats and staggers instead. And personally, I prefer that because most stun systems are like, hey, you gotta mash out if you want to live, and I am not a fan. Stuns can be very hard to balance. Too. Yeah. I'm not a fan of mashing as a mechanic in any fighting game. Right, right. So I really appreciate the way KI does it. Where there is no situation where you ever have to mash. There's no, like, Blanca electricity mm -hmm. either. There's nothing like that. And we're going back to care select. Is big, big counter picks. Is Letalis just going to need a minute, or is he going to go back to Rom? I don't know. I don't know. He's been very, like, I don't know, he's been losing, but it's not like he's not being, like, bodied mm. by Spinal right now. So I think he's just going to, like, take a minute. Or he's going to break out a character that's, like. I almost thought he was going to pick Riptor. I know Letalis oh, has, man. like, Riptor's his fourth character, but I've never seen him pull, him out, pull her out in bracket. So Omen's his third character? Yes. He started playing Omen about, I think, a year ago. Okay. I was like, this character's sick, and he covers some of my bad matchups, so I'm going to keep playing him. And depending on who you ask, some people might put Omen in the top five. Wow. He's a really good zoner. He's got really tricky aerial mix-ups. Like that. He, just, he can just air dash forward and, like, Every single, not every single, but most of his aerials are cross-ups. This is certainly a, mobi a mobility upgrade. Yes, indeed. Breaks that medium skeleport linker. He just he just tossed that that fireball and it just dripped onto the ground. Some do. So what Omen has uh, is RNG fireballs. Right. Whenever he throws a fireball, there's 11 different patterns that can go on. Um, some are more common than others. Uh, the the ones that fly straight are the most common. Oh, he just did the uh, the shadow cancel. He gets oh, and he made a, the grab whiff. So he gets like the beta version of Mira's Mist for him. He has to use a bar of meter, but it's roughly the same function. He can teleport in any direction and be invincible. So instead of using uh, gray life like Mira does, he just uses a bar of meter. And see. Omen has three bars of meter that he can use. Right. As opposed to any other character who only has two. Or Fulgore who has two and a half. That's a really that common point nice. for people to try to break uh, spinal juggles. I'm not surprised that base would go for the, the counter break there. The galaxy brain reads. Mm. Order shield is a reversal for Omen, but it's a little weird. And his grab is a restand. It is. His grab restands. Um, if he does it in the corner, he gets some, some really cute uh, combos off that. Mm -hmm. If he's not in the corner, if he wants to get a combo, he basically has to instant cancel the grab. Right. He's looking better for Letalis, but you know what this means. If he wins this, that gives base the opportunity to go back to character select. And that's the last time he's going to be able to... That's the last uh, time there will be any character switching. So that means we'll be in game 10. Ooh, I feel like there was meant to be uh, an air dash there, but it just didn't come down. Omen just floats daintily down to the ground and got hit by Spinal there. Oh, I thought that was a grab. And I think base did too, because he got hit by that jab. Oh, is this it? That's it. That's it. That means we are on to game 10. Last game, everybody. Give it up. Game 10. Are you enjoying your chicken sandwich? I'm loving it. No, that's... You don't, you don't say that. <laughs> you don't say that about Chick-fil-A, man. I was trying to be discreet about it. I'm, I'm like, I'm taking bites while like you're talking. Mm -hmm. So it <laughs> I gave away your secret. Cinder versus Omen. Knowing icy, he's gonna like 
pan the camera to me as I'm taking a bite. <laughs> Just gave us a look. <laughs> I know he can hear us. Mm -hmm. What's right. up? Are you having a good night? Getting some KI action, waiting on that MK. Yeah. Getting some hype finals after this. How's, how's chat been? Have they been talking complete shit on us? Uh, not on you, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I meant us as in the KI community as a whole. No, no, it's some, some good chat. Okay, that's good. KI community showing up to watch. Thanks okay. for watching, guys. Glad to have you here. I know I told, like, everybody I know. Yeah, I am not of the quality of Maximilian or Shin or uh, or Zombie when it comes to commentary. Nor I, but I try to. Okay, stay out of the range of that Inferno. And my knowledge of this game extends to, like, the end of base season three. Like, mm -hmm. the last time I played was uh, when Shin Hisako came out. Yeah. But I still do watch this game. I still, I still like, support the uh, the streams and all that stuff at, like, Combo Breaker mm -hmm. and CEO. Like, I love watching this game. The, the nice character the designs. This is still really close. Omen has to wait out. He can't throw any fireballs when he's got his arms burned out like that, or else he'll reset that uh, burnout timer. These are just two beings of complete energy yeah. right now. It's almost disorienting to watch. A little bit. They do look pretty similar. Yeah. They look distinct enough where yeah. it's like, ooh, and he gets the he gets the pressure fireballs. Mm -hmm. He gets to just sit and wait while Cinder decides what to do. And in that case, it was do a DP. Kill some freeze. Ooh, Ooh, back dash is out of that I like, combo. I like the idea. It's a good idea. Uh, just in practice, it doesn't always work out. So when uh, when our boy Cinder throws that shadow firebomb, it will cause all the other firebombs to collapse, uh, to collapse, explode. Right. I remember uh, a few years ago, uh, Domi, Domi at Evo. Domi at Evo, man, that he, that was the Cinder set yeah. to watch. Where uh, he uh, he did that like nearly infinite juggle in mm -hmm. instinct mode. Yeah. Ooh, I just saw they Vitalis it. burn himself out more. Oh, and that's gonna be a big no. old chunk of damage. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a long road for Vitalis right now. A very long one or a very short one. He can make this comeback. You know, uh, he's he's burned out or he's locked out Cinder's meter. He doesn't exactly have any to begin with. Oh, Base's defense and his mobility is just so on point right now. Oh my and god, he tried to backdash the target combo again. Very good. Give it up for base. Very good work by everyone involved. I'm so proud of everybody for answering and competing and commentating. And, and thank you guys so much for putting us on. Thank you for bearing with me. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you for watching Killer Instinct, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please support the game. Please play this game. It's beautiful. I love it. I will never stop loving it, even if I stop playing it. Um, it will always hold a place in my heart. And, and I will always love you. Forever. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed Killer Instinct. We're going to have Mortal Kombat XL Top 3 coming up as soon as we get these consoles switched over. Uh, Did Sonic Fox enter? No, he didn't.